Oh my goodness. I did it again successfully. That's two nights in a row I've gone live. I'm impressed with myself. Well, Jeff, Todd, welcome. Thank you. Evening, evening. Uh, tonight, Todd, Todd is a special guest tonight. Uh, Todd is going to provide color commentary while I uh, stare aimlessly at this uh, massive map that we're about to put up. Uh, a couple of so welcome everybody. Who we got? We got John here and Charles and uh, Chris and Tom and John Nolan and Tava One Hundred and One. Uh, you know, he he was thinking it was April Fool's prank. And John Nolan, yeah, we are running late, guys. So Daddy has a headache, and I had to take the missus out to dinner, and things got complicated. So we're here, and we're starting. So um, a couple of housekeeping things for folks. If you do want to follow along more closely and in high resolution, go grab the uh, – in the link, I think I, I put uh, the URL for the Vassal module, and you've got to watch it online. And um, we'll go for it from there. And you can go for it from there, or you can follow along this way. We're going to put it up on the screen in a sec, and you'll be able to see it. Uh, it'll look something like this, but I'll make it bigger because we'll take ourselves off the uh, take ourselves off in a second. But I want to say hi to everybody. We're doing uh, the Eastern Front System, Barbarossa, Army Group South, acronym Soup Central. <coughs> so. Uh, we're going to start the campaign. I'm going to pretend I know what I'm doing. I haven't touched this game in a long time, but uh, I'm just I'm laying out all the excuses right off the bat. We're going to get get after it uh, after I'm finished with my excuses. Um, and we are going to be doing a little bit of housekeeping, I think, aren't we? Uh, or are you good to go, Jeff? Yeah, we'll muddle through this first turn. Yeah, yeah, cool. All right. So, uh, all right, let me... Um, What's the I'm gonna maximize the screen? Is everybody I well, here I'm asking if everybody is familiar with the game. It's like I'm gonna give them my distance. I'm not gonna do that. What we're gonna do is do this. We're gonna make it full screen. What we're playing though, I will get it's a th basically a three mapper. So we've got uh, one map basically here we can see. Uh, we'll, and we'll show you the, the border and all that sort of stuff, what's going to happen. Uh, that's kind of runs down to down till we get to these mountain, Carpathian Mountains. I think that's what they are, isn't it? I don't know what they're actually called, but probably not it. And then there's a southern section down here uh, on map F that is the run to Odessa, which is all the way over here. This is a victory point location. <coughs> And if you kept going, Dang, uh, which we're not doing, uh, if we keep going, you can go all the way over, but it's only three maps. We're only playing this little section. None of these guys down here in the south are going to be activated, I think, until turn six. Is that right, Jeff? I think it's turn six for the job. Yeah, the, yeah map F, only MSUs and dumps can do anything on six. And yeah. Yeah. Senior aircraft yeah, that, that reminds me, I need to make a note that I do need to move MSUs. On this is a huge map here. Um, you don't get any Panzer divisions can't move for the first 10 game turns. Oh, is that what that is? Yeah, that you missed that. It's on the back of uh, uh, card 27. Yeah. You're Dang. Kidding. He's kidding me. Um, <clears throat> all right. But this is where the primary reaction is going to happen. We're trying to capture Lavov in the early turns, which is down here on the bottom uh, bottom of your screen where the mouse is. Ideally capture that by turn four, and then we want to capture Kiev by turn 15. Wow. Wow. Seems like Piece a of cake. Piece of cake, right? All about you, baby. Crazy times it is all about me in this particular instance. Uh, that's funny. Uh, Private Public says, good day, folks. Smash him H to H. So we've got some fans for wow. Yeah. Look at that. Where 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 are the fans? There's too many goddamn major roads in this freaking part of the map. I love major roads. Uh Stiggs, yes. Uh that is one of Matt's uh pieces of artwork behind me. I thought a German panzer looming over my shoulder would be intimidating Jeff a little bit. All right. Okay, dude, so we're just going to run sequence play, okay? 
strategic segment, where it's clear for turn one, that's my understanding. So we don't have to do that. Uh, we don't have to do supply determination because everybody's in supply uh, uh, in turn one. Replacement phase, I don't believe there is a replacement phase on turn one. Happy to be wrong, but I don't believe there is. I think that you, we look at the repl the uh, replacement charts, right? For that, mine's a die roll. I think yours is automatic. Isn't it? So do we uh, do we need do we do that turn one? I don't think we. I thought in the scenario rules it says you don't do it on turn one. Well, if you promise not to attack, we can skip it. <laughs> if you want to roll um, for replacement? Look it out then. Let's see. Uh, let's see. No, there is a. Uh... Oh, shit, I don't see anything. Say anything about that cab. All right. Okay. Well, then that's uh, so. If player refers to a scenario setup card, roll uh, roll for them if you need to roll for them, uh, and uh, they but they use or loses, right? Yeah. Let's see. Well, but, yeah. well, if you get a if I get a what is it an uh those funny looking ones? Yeah, and then uh, you've got type one the and zap units like that. Yeah. <clears throat> See, I want to say when I played Von Rumstead, I want to say you're right. There is no freaking, there's no. Yeah, I, I, I think turn one, uh, you, you don't do it for either side. I don't think for replacements because it's in the beginning of the turn. And then reinforcements, there's no reinforcements for either based on the charts I have here. For me, I don't know about yourself, if you get stuff that you've got to bring on the board, turn one. Uh, I don't think I get anything till turn three. That's what I thought. So, so far we're doing okay. Um, <clears throat> yeah, because it's at start units and then uh, my first reinforcements and replacements are or reinforcements at turn seven, unless I take specials. What's the starting yeah. date of this game, the starting day? Is it June of 41? Yep. Yep. Uh, Barbarossa, yeah. yeah. Okay. And then game turn three down in the center. Map. <clears throat> All right. So re that brings us to reinforcement withdrawal phase. We're not doing that. Air readiness phase. I have no air. You have no air. Do you, you have air that's used, don't you? It, there's some, but they say I can't drop anything into the boxes until turn six. All right. Boom. So we're done with that. There's no access air interdiction because I have no air. On turn one, because it's already been pre pre applied to interdict and disrupt the uh, all HQs that are on the map. Basically, no naval readiness in this. So now it's the access uh, player segment. That's me. Access movement phase. And I'm going to put my sweatshirt on because it's kind of cold out here. I need a fan or something to blow the paint fumes out of this. So, start that. Man, I've got it on back to front. So that's not helping. This is a high high class act here. All right, here we go. That's pretty. Now I feel cozy. Now let's when it get uh, let's get going. <clears throat> you go right ahead. I'll sit here and watch. Yeah. All right. So all <laughs> of my all of my units uh, that are within one hex of the Polish border can move in the move phase. Everybody else, anyone else who is more than one hex away from the border cannot move. <clears throat> so footbridge units, no. Mark on the map for replacements, no. Although I do have some replacements, I have any losses. Execute ground unit movement. Here we go, dude. You ready? You watching? Pay attention. <laughs> uh, no, okay. no, Pat, no, you cheated. Uh, uh, let me get my little terrain chart out. I don't know what the resolution is like, guys, but like I said, if you're just joining, we are going to be on Vassal, so you can go on the Vassal module, and you can watch this on the Vassal module just as just as well. Um, you can zoom in all you want. Yeah, exactly. All right, so plus one across these minor rivers. I believe for infantry and dry. So two, four into the woods. And that's as far as he can go. What do you think about that? Huh? Pretty powerful. 
This is crazy. That's awful bold. I know. I, I'm I'm a, I'm a player. All right. Uh, now let's see. These guys are within one. So <clears throat> they will do the following. Here it comes. I can feel the freaking PZ thirty eight T engines firing up. Oh, now can I? I can overrun, can't I? Do I have enough to do that? Four, five, six, seven across the river, not going to work. So not really worth doing. So we'll just go one, two to there. That's eight, ten stacking points. And ten stacking points is the limit, right? Yep. Oh, and funny one that enter zone control. Yep. Funny how that worked out. And then uh, we'll put this guy here. That's uh, uh, one and a half. That's going to be the same. These guys cannot move. So we'll move on. No. Let's see. No, I did, uh, did take the liberty of having a little bit of a look at the map the other day. Let's see. Do I get a challenge flag? Yeah, sure. Uh, just throw a, a yellow card. That's too empty to there. <laughs> I think I'll move, I'll move these two guys together. No, I've kind of broken it. In the show. Uh, gonna do this. We're going to go. You've got half to cross the river, right? So that's going to be four, five, six, seven, seven. Yeah, so I'm going to go one, one and a half to there. Six, seven, two, three, four, one. All right. <clears throat> strong points. Got to love the strong points. Now, if I attack you across with one unit not behind the river, does that negate the river? Uh, for the other for the other guys that are attacking across the river, I don't think it affects them. Um, I, can't, I can't remember. Five being being charged to look at. Let's see. Combat river. Uh, do -do. I'm just wondering if it's, if it's all oh, units. Modifiers. And then major yeah. river is all attacking units across a major river or have, and they get no um, um, combined arms. Oh, so the little dark blue are not um, majors, they're just regular rivers. So it's going to be a DRM. Oh, DRM. sweet baby, just you're going to go. We're going to town. Shit, do we even have any major rivers on this damn map? Uh, all the way up at Kiev, up at Kiev. Yeah. 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 Not until you get to the mapper. All right, let's see. Well, that means I could possibly attack this this time. So I'm, I'm not just going gonna... around the map while you're doing your thing. It doesn't affect yeah, me. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna have to just put this. No, it's not affecting me. I'm just gonna put this back here for the moment. <clears throat> I think about this perfectly. I wish I knew these rules better. I could tell everybody what's happening. While I'm moving. <laughs> you have I put your, it, he put uh, his rail back because because he did. You have your preferences, Todd, set to follow the active player. I'm watching Kev move right now. Okay. So when not hard coming across, that's going to be 12, 14, and that's going to be 3, 8. Yeah, it is, a, it is amazing watching this on a, in Vassal on a 32-inch monitor. You can't see anything on an iPhone. <laughs> yeah, a little bit different, huh? This is great. <laughs> yeah. All right, so we, we're just going to, we're going to just, we are just going to. I can't overrun. You've got to be mechanized to overrun anyway, so it's not. <clears throat> I think that's how that works. But I would like to get an attack in here. Do that. I lost where we were in the sequence of play here. Let's see. Still, still a movement phase. No, no, I'm just trying. I gotta, I gotta find it on the sheet here. There's four-page right. sequence of play you sent me. Um. 
section B. Yep, gotcha. Page two. I shouldn't talk to you. It's going to distract you, but you can use me as an excuse. Yeah, I can't. I will. Um, hmm. So. Yeah, I think those bros have to go in here. Who else joined us here? And then this guy's got to go. Who's Ronster? He joined us, whoever it was. That's 10. That's 5 to 1. 6. That makes it 6 to 1. Plus the Hardy. Plus the Hardy. Six, seven, eight, eight. Mm. Thank you for joining the stream, everyone, as we watch Kev count and think about his move. So it's such compelling counting as well. <laughs> Ronster, good evening. Thanks for joining us in the mod there. It's okay, Ronster. I'm also confused, and I'm the color commentator. I'm playing, and I'm confused. You guys are all hilarious. Kev will regret this decision of allowing you on the stream. <laughs> yeah, so this guy is going to go to here. Kev says Kev has ne negotiated a sandbagging house rule. Look out for that one. Everyone's a comedian today, I see. Good thing <clears> today <throat> and not tomorrow. Imagine how funny we'd be tomorrow. Oof. Well, it is April Fool's. Oh, so. yeah. <laughs> yeah, I didn't really do it. Usually I post something for April Fool's, but uh, let's keep these a little bit. I think this qualifies. Yeah. This qualifies as April Fool's? Well, dang your eyes, sir. <laughs> yeah, we're playing a game. Okay. All right. Uh, tip the waitress. Mech yeah, through the woods is two, so that's plus two, so that's three to there, uh, four to there. Uh, so and all you people in the comments, what are you all doing while you're uh, sitting here listening to Kev and Jeff? Kev's uh, Aussie and Jeff's uh, Southern twang. Clip encounters. What are you drinking? I'm drinking hot tea. Diet Coke. Oh, oh no. Mo moonshine, sorry. <laughs> You're try trying to perpetuate the myth. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, I got only half a sheet of more of the sums left. Mm -hmm. Diggler does well, make a good, good point. Let's see what the Vassal Die Roller has in store for us. It's not too late for April Foolery. Plenty of that. Yeah. You know what? I haven't done a die roll test yet. Let me roll one. Oh, don't oh, roll roll in the comma. That'll never work. Where'd you roll? Three. All right. Now, here's where we get a little tricky. Two, four. So this would be good. Two to here, four to there, five, six to there. Stonewall is my buddy down here, down the street that I go down and play games with sometimes. Ah. So he knows that Southern. He's he's busy that Southern twain person. Uh, <laughs> it's normal to him. <laughs> and a half. So Three we have uh, four and a half. That's a yingling, yingling lager from Tom four Faust. That old chestnut is setting up Panzer Battles, SCS. Cool. <laughs> damn pictures, Matt, so I can see this crap when you play it. Actually, I'm going to push this guy to here. I'm going to move that guy back one. He's going to go one. The cheating's already started, by the way. Two. John Montour is having a Diet Kroger private reserve cola, moderately clean mug, no ice. Um, moderately clean mug, that's great. Um, <clears throat> I don't get that. Nastruya. Here, that works, John. That's the best I got, buddy. 
six stacking points, eight stacking points, nine. It's like it was made to be nine stacking points. We might as well put that bad boy right on top. Yeah. Are the stacking points the numbers to the left? Yes, they are. I need to get one again. So there's nine stacking points allowed per hex? Ten. Ten, okay. I think it's ten. Better be ten. I better get my rule book out. Maybe I should be doing that instead of asking you. Yeah, it start that unit started with ten, so I'm assuming. Well, I know it's ten, but I'm just saying I'm pretty sure it's ten. And just because I'm enjoying this with you, and I know you haven't played for a while, remember those little dotted line thingies when you cross a couple of times? Come on, who? What? 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 Uh, the little dotted, the little red dots. That's a fortified zone. When you attack across through. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. It's, it's a, 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 I don't know whether you remember that or not. A DRM penalty, right? Yeah, I think it, most everything in this game is DRM penalty. And then, and there's a movement penalty as well. Yeah. 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 Thank you for the heads up. Yeah. Am I allowed to look at your stacks? Uh, it doesn't matter to me. This is our first time. Good for it. Two, four, five. I think so. And for general knowledge, I'm pretty sure that that NKV yeah. right there, he will automatically have a no retreat order. And anybody yeah, that's has correct. That. Uh, by the way, there's a setup area here, or is, is these guys supposed to start no, that's there? Be a boo -boo. Yeah, so I want you to punt that guy. Uh, He's actually in the wrong country. Northern Ukraine. Yeah. So uh, one, two, three. I know this is a, a three. That's going to be four, five, five, six to there. Okay, these guys go to here. These guys go to here. I'm looking. This guy's good here. <clears throat> Actually, no, they won't. Don't stay there. I guess we'll look on the right maps deployment card. All right. <clears throat> now, I'm going to grab an MSU off of my replacement shot right. and bring it on down south. Well, so far, I don't see where that guy goes anywhere. Let's see. Yeah, I think it just might be an uh, might be an artifact from the uh, some someone who set this up set it up incorrectly. Yeah, I believe these guys come in here somewhere. And so Jeff, you said you're using the uh, Crimea rules primarily. Yeah, that's the uh, that's the latest living rules release. Okay. Yeah, I couldn't download them, so I'm just going to use the one from my book game. I think the yeah. K2R ones are pretty much the same. I yeah, you. I think so. These are 2008. What's the, what's the your date on yours? Um, 2010 is Crimea. Yeah. yeah. Okay. But it, well, it notes changes, so when the arguments begin, we can notice which ones are. Yeah, that's cool. There, there will be serious rule fighting in this game. I already know it. I can tell what these two guys yeah. are. Yeah, Kev, I don't see that unit on the on the drop charts anywhere. Just can you right click and just get him off there? Or? Yeah, sure. Let me do it. Not you would lot. think he would be though with that that nomenclature. Do you think he'd be a garrison somewhere? I'm just gonna delete him. There he goes. He's gone. All right. All right. Now, uh, you know what would be helpful if one of the two of you could look up where um, units from for on the southern map where they enter, where I, if it's any of these major roads or if it's on the western edge through Hungary. You're I'm guessing it's actually, I can actually go south from the south, but I'm not 100% sure. You're reinforcements? No, well, yeah, I'm bringing in two trucks uh, for, the south, for the south, <clears throat> just because it takes so long to get them where they need to be. I'm bringing them in now, I can bring them in, so. Actually, you know what? And I can't use rail first. Hey, uh, Stonewall, I'm getting that link for you for the module. Axis reinforcements are now found on the back of Axis setup cards one, two, and three. One back, two front, three front. Okay. Special movements, breakdowns. I'm not doing breakdowns. Uh, no air transports. Not adjusting the VP track just yet. Recombine units, not doing that either. Attack declarations, okay. It's, um, everybody, it's the GMT East Front Series, it's volume one. Yeah, I put, I'm pretty sure I put the link in the in the invite. Um, oh. so it, might be, it might be in the YouTube version. Um, 
YouTube link. I don't know, but okay. I'll to... check that everybody. But it is called the GMT East Front Series Volume One. It's the combination of Crimea, Kiev, Rostov, and Army Group South. One point four two. Game pieces, Marcus. So that's the one to get. I was going to post a link, but I don't think I can post links in a live chat. So. Hello. Yeah, yeah that's sure. my take my pill alarm, but I already did that. Oh yeah, so, I will tell y'all too. By the way, I am on call. And you'll know it if I get a call because my freaking work phone will scream like bloody murder. And you can't. Okay. Modify That's it. cool. Where is the uh, declared? Oh, here are a bunch of excuses why they're not going to win. I got headaches. I got them on call. I got to take my medicine. I'm old. Yeah, it's pretty bad, isn't it? I'm looking for the declared attack freaking thingies. Where? Oh, uh, counters. Kind of important. I think this is what makes this game interesting right here. This is one of the things. Jeff, did you find the uh, question that Kev was asking already? I was busy looking up the module. No, there's it just it says they're the rein, well reinforcements are off the card. Yeah, no, yeah, but where, dude? So where, like, where does where do southern know. units? So the units that don't move until turn six, the reinforcements for them. What? Where do they come on? Is what I was curious about. Damn German cards out. Oh. Well, okay, bro. Yeah, I have them. I can look up, but I just didn't want to yeah. slow down this riveting gameplay. But by all means, just you know, I'll take care of it. No, I got it. Hey, um, Kev, which one are you looking for? Are you looking for the uh, offensives? I'm looking for the de uh, declared attack counters. I'm in here. I'm in the, uh, now I'm just losing my mind. I'll take the fifth because I've never vassaled before. Successfully. Yeah. Right. What am I doing wrong? Wow. Oh, yeah. They have this code on these things. W E West Edge Map E. West Ed West Edge Map E. Okay. Well, I'm looking at the chart. So that's for all right. Axis setup card three is map E. So it, the the reinforcements you have here, the oddball ones that don't have a hex, are W E West Edge Map E. West Edge, okay. Declared attacks is under the markers general. Declared attacks and then declared attacks. Why, why am I not seeing? It? So markers general and then uh, I don't know. You have to expand that window. There's three. There were three windows. Now there's only two. What have I done? No. Oh, so mine's. I don't have. I haven't removed my window like that. But let me do this. Let's open it up again. No. Game pieces, of course. All right, um, Jeff, will you do me a favor and grab a declared attack marker and try and put it on the map for me? I am not seeing it. I don't know what. what I'm Where doing. are you, Kev? I just placed one on the south. You did? Okay, awesome. Where you were? Did you get it, Todd? Yeah, I think so. I'm a little surprised I can add something being an observer. That's a good thing. In this case, you need a numbered one because there's numbered. No, it's okay. You well, it's just that so you just run through when you run through them. You can, uh, you can just say attack number X, right? That's all. I got this you. is fine. This is fine. You got so it. Where'd, okay. you, where'd you find those so that I can later? Uh, I don't know. It's uh, just under game pieces markers general. Yeah, for some reason I couldn't see it. I don't know why. I'm I'm just an idiot. That's there's a lot of that going on today with me. So well, I got them pulled. All right, all right. So uh, let's. I'm gonna declare my attacks. <clears throat> so we're attacking uh, this hex. This hex. This hex. This hex. Oh, yeah, there you go, Stigler. 1.42. Can I see any Marlena dig trick? No, I can't really. I don't want Kev's video to get booted off, and my singing would sound just like her. So,
I can use my sultry voice though for you, John. Is that better? Mm -hmm. I'm I'm gonna move one more guy. If that's okay. Mm -hmm. So that's pretty cool. Now, is this is the game where you have? I'm at, I'll ask Jeff. So Jeff, since I don't know if you need to be thinking here, since Kev's thinking, but so this is where you have to attack. Um, you you have to attack on some units, right? You have to attack everything that can exert a zone of control into the attacking unit's hex. Into the attacking unit's hex, okay. And he can, any other units that are adjacent to the attacker, if they are adjacent to all of the defending units that the attacker is attacking, he can join that attack. Otherwise, you have to do that, what do you call that shit, that peel off attack or whatever. Soak off. Soak off. Okay. Soak off. Yeah. Thanks. Just make sure I'm not missing any. You know. Um. Oh, I probably should have moved that guy, but I didn't. So I guess we're good. We'll just deal with it as is. Okay. So. We'll just go north to south for the moment. I don't think it's going to make a huge difference until we get to the motorized phase. Okay. So I uh, need you. So the first one now. I guess we we're supposed to put we're supposed to work out the raw odds and then the, and then I just use my hand to work out the DRM right. Mm -hmm. uh, but you you can put the odds down the odds down. Uh, of course, I'm probably not going to find that market. What did I do to this? Oh, mackerel. Well, we can forego all the damn amenities and play the game. <laughs> we, we, can, we can just go through it? Are you yeah, good? But, yeah, because we're playing. We're not fucking. Okay, playing. good. All right. So that, that makes me happy. I was just trying to follow the exactitude. <laughs> so I didn't want, didn't want to upset anybody. All right. So I have uh, eight, ten. 11, 12, 13 factors. I'm using uh, this guy. I'm sure there's a way to say it's moved. Oh, you know what? That's something. Oh, no, that's a that's a rail. Rotate. So 10, 13 factors to two, six to one. Right. Across the stream there. I love jelly beans, John. And you have a strong point. And I have a no retreat order automatic. So that's plus three. Uh, I, don't, I don't know, Stigler. That's the one I don't know. <laughs> right. And I, <coughs> excuse me. And I have uh, an engineer. All right. Plus two. So it makes it a plus two. I'm, am I taller than you? Because that's a DRM. Does that count? Do you have a CAB? Uh, I have combined arms. I've got a well, uh, that AA unit I think counts as a combined arms. Let's double check that. No, no, no combined arms if all attacking units attack across. Oh, uh, there we go. So, is that just for major rivers or all rivers? Oh, uh, that's uh, my river canal and major. Major even adds more. So. Sweet. Okay, cool. So, it's a plus two of the die roll on a six to one. You good with that? Go for it. Oh, I lost the page. Right out loud. Yeah. I know we got oh, where is the die? I'm looking for the die. Big D10. Here it is. Come on. Low numbers. Oh, no. It's going to be horrible. That's 11. No effect. Oh, well. Could have been worse. But that doesn't really help the grand offensive. Uh, okay. Next attack. Oh, that was genius. Uh, next no, attack. What do you mean no effect? Would you, what, what, what'd you say? I, I, roll, I, roll a le I rolled 11. Damn. Good. You keep doing that. Yeah, oh, we're just getting the bad shit out of the way. Uh, 12, 13, 14, 14, plus this guy here, 16. Where is the rotate? Yes, Charles, that's what it is. <coughs> 16, you need to flip this little uh, dude, and please let it be at one. Why can't I do that? You're going to have to do it. Wow, why do I do it? Well, because I think you have control. No, you're the Russian. Yeah, but you know what? I don't, hold on a second. Hold on. I'm going to hit retire. Hold on. Ah, I win. <laughs> uh, it's got select to. Uh, there we go. Now I can do it. Okay. 
What'd you move his ass way over there for? Well, I didn't touch it. You did that, that jackass. Was it? It was two units, right? Or was it just? No, it was one. <laughs> Son of a. Hold on. Yeah, we don't want him in there anyhow. Let me get him out of there. Yeah. Oh, he's back. Okay. Undo that shit. Anytime we're ready. It doesn't have the ability to change. Me. Okay, so let me flip this little bastard here over. Are you kidding me? You got to be able to flip it somehow, or something, because it they have a um, rotate. No, delete, select. Here we I go. A rotate and a delete. Uh, can you flip it now? See, he's where'd he go again? Now he's going again. There you go. See if you can flip it. Uh, it says select URMG true. All right. Is there something up top that says flip? No. Oh my god, I can't remember how we did this. I think that's uh, Well, that's a problem. Let's see. Is there anything up on the menu? You, should, you sure you can't right click on that unit and yeah. what, is, what, what is it? Uh, if you click select URIMG, what does that do? It, it removes whatever it. that was. Where the fuck did he go? I put it back. Now he's right back in here again. No, I put it back. Yeah. So when I hit select, it disappears. Huh. Place marker. Act, try activated. Right click activated. Yeah. No, that's no. for my. Uh, that's my HQs. Yeah. Get off in there. Oh, shit. Well, that's a problem. I think that's some shit. Okay. Let's think about this. On uh, on the um, bad data, what is all this market business? Could not find you are in selected scroll list. Let's see. Sorry about the big screen here. <clears throat> Wouldn't that be jacked up? We're playing with a, <laughs> a band. Yeah, that would be jacked up. Soviet you Okay, uh, here's what we do, dude. Here. Right. Uh, this, that's right. Now I remember. So uh, you are pulling URMG units. So on the screen, you can can you see on the vessel module now? I was just looking. Uh, you just drag one of those and replace it with that unit. Okay. All right. So take that guy off. And we'll just send him true, and then you not a Kiev okay. Odessa guy. Take that, no, take that off. You want a UR. Um, oh, okay. There's a stack that says right. URMG. You want to pick from what from one of those. Now a two. Now we're talking. Of course, it's a two. Eighty percent of them are one or zero, and you pick the two. So good job. Uh, okay. I forget how much I had, 12, 14, 16. So it's eight to one, you are eight to one, plus one, plus two. I have um, engineers, that makes it plus, plus one. And there's nobody there to issue a no retreat order anyhow, so. Yeah. Hang on a second. Um, now I get combined. Oh, I can't get combined arms effect across the river. <clears throat> Where is this? Uh, plus two. Nope. 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 I'm scrambling to look for bonuses, and there are none. Okay. All right. So what did we say it was? Plus one, uh, plus one this time, right? Because, because I have engineer, because I have engineers, and you have a strong right. point and a, and a river, right? right? All right, let me find the menu so I can actually pull this. Down. Let's you need to roll like I, already. I rolled a six, so that makes it a seven on the ten to one. And he's gone. Yeah, he's dead. 
Now, attack is just, uh, advance after combat, I don't remember. Is it just into the hex? Unless it's an overrun, right? Just into hex. And that was an untried unit, so he goes to the eliminated box that cannot be returned. We love those. All right, and I, and I, and I can't do the Adam, uh, the Mach 7 inch advance in any direction. That's a shame. No, because you have to spend a turn on top of that thing if you want to get rid of it. Well, I don't have to. I don't have to leave everybody there, champ. Yeah, just en know. just enough. All right, next attack. <clears throat> We're going to uh, work out the odds here. So the way the way you're supposed to do this, just so everyone is watching, is you declare all the attacks, work out the initial odds, and then um, if we uh, had air, or if he had Arty in range and had an HQ that. Uh, would allow um, allow him to use Arty and, and or apply air, we would apply those combat factors and then we would re reconfigure the odds and then check the DRMs. That's that's how you would do it technically. So you kind of go through every single combat and work out all the odds and, and put an odds marker on it technically. And then you come back and, and work out who's going to, because there's a bit of a game, right, uh, Jeff, with the air. Once we both have air, right, there's a bit of a game that goes on with well, where is that dummy air counter, and where you know who's who's going to apply air where, and all that sort of fun stuff. Um, okay, so so Ken, yeah. could you have used artillery if you had it at this before this point? I, I did it. I did in that one. Uh, see how I cocked that uh, two one five and so uh -huh. Right, I used the uh, artillery there. Okay, I got you. All right. So, so now we're doing this guy, and he's going to pull another Ur unit, and uh, <clears throat> we'll place we'll place that dude. Oh, that's cool. So that always changes. That's awesome. Okay, this will be awesome. So so here, when we do the initial odds, now I can say, well, do I want to use my artillery or not? And I'm probably not gonna because I'm going to take a seven, eight, nine to one. Uh, bazillion to one attack because I'm using these these units and these units. It's going to be sixteen to one with a plus one or a plus two DRM. You got a strong point there. Yes. So do you get the do you get the river bonus if I've got units? I think you've got, all of them have to attack across yeah. to get the river bonus. Yeah. So it's only a, a one for you if all attacking. Yeah, only one for you and. Uh, I don't get the combined arms because it's coming across the street, the river thing. And is that a marsh hex? No, it's not. But you are a town or a village or some sort of black dot bullshit. What's that? A town? Wait a minute, I can't. I have to clear this. So that's a plus one. I don't know why I'm giving you all those bonuses. Uh, so it's ne nevertheless, it's max odds. Is there? It's always ten to one if it's max odds, right? Yeah. There's nothing on that town unless it's mud or snow. Okay, so uh, 10 to 1 plus 1. 6. And Six. It's eliminated. And that's an untried unit anyhow, so here we go. Where'd you go? Get your, get your Southern Bell backside out of that hex. There we go. So we will go to here. These guys will join him. <clears throat> now, this is kind of cool because that frees up extra artillery if I need it. Uh, I forgot to move that unit. All right. Uh, this guy. So he's got uh, two factors, and we know that, and that's a no retreat order uh, for you, right? Right, for the NKVD, okay. yeah, okay. Yep. So I've got everybody coming across the river. So it's two there, and, and 10 is 12. And I'll use this here, um, 12, that's 15, and one, two, this guy, 16. Is there any limit to the amount of artillery you can use? Uh, no, no more than 100%. Uh, but it has to be less than 100% of the attacking combat factors. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. And four, only four units, only four artillery units can fire at one mission. Oh, is there a max uh, count? I didn't, I, I forgot that. That's cool. Yours, okay. is, yours is easy because I have to have headquarters around to get that shit. Right. 
Okay. So what did I say I had? Um, Sorry. You got eight to one and you got an engineer. So it's only going to be eight to one plus two. Plus two. Well, I might actually yeah, add, uh, I'm going to add this guy into the combat as well. Then, So, so we'll make it max odds 10 to one. Let's just get that guy out the way. And I rolled a 10, you mother. Oh, asterisk. One hour retreat. So it's a step loss, but I, so will that knock you out? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Probably be the two step or so and hold. Now you've got a no retreat. That means you take a step loss there, right? Extra step yeah, loss? He, yeah, he's, he's a one stepper anyhow. So oh, okay. he goes immediately to the cadre box. Oh, did he did he declare these no retreats earlier? Yeah, what did uh, he say? Uh, NKVD. Yeah. NKVD uh, automatic. Oh, I got you. Okay. You're, you're, so you used your engineer. He yes. Has to take a loss or step loss. Uh, because of the one R. Yeah, the asterisks. Oh, the asterisks. Yeah, that sucks. Because right. uh, the Panzer unit only, they would have to roll. Yep, yeah, that's right. On a, yes, I remember that table. That's All right, right. so uh, we'll just, I flipped that by accident. Sorry. All right. No, 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 Jeff. He's making it across the river. Uh. No. All right. And this guy here. And he's still yeah. got demotorized. I got to pee. Hold on a second. <laughs> oh, I, I, I'm rolling, man. I'm rolling. Go ahead. I, I'll, I'll watch him, Jeff. I'll watch him. I got it. <laughs> hey, why don't you pull a URMG unit? Oh, you guess you can you do that? You probably can. I don't know. We can try. Yeah. Let's pull see. it probably down there. So pull, just pull that down. For, for, uh, the, yeah, for this hex here. And then how do I just draw one or what? Yeah, you just draw one in the URG bucket. And it's, uh, I'm sorry, which it's uh, URMG. Okay, got gotcha. you. And yeah, uh, I'm sorry. Yeah, I'm abbreviating and right here. Well, I would do it, Kev, but my, when I go to these screens, my vassal does a very strange thing. So it's just locked me out again. So it's all good. I got it. I'm going to pull. Okay, one. cool. I'm going to pull one down here. So is that how you do it? You just pull from the front. It gives you a number. So which one to give you? Two? To give you two? Uh, no, no, I've just got this one here. I'm going to send this one back to the true and this one to work out how we place it. I don't know how we uh, put it. it Maybe I can't flip. Oh, here it is. Flip two. All right. So I have, uh, let's see, 10, 12 factors, 13, 14, 15 factors. Jeff, he pulled a unit for you. 15 right. factors. 18 factors. So I'm going to use these two. Man, what is going on here? Where are we at? 31, 12? 18. Yeah, we're right here. Yeah. So 18 uh, factors to two. So it's, uh, what is that, nine to one? And it's a plus two for you. And I don't think I have an engineer. Do I have an engineer? No. So it's a plus two on eight to one. Okay. Roll a five. Eight to one and five that makes it a seven. Gosh, bless it. A one, two. All right. Well, that'll get rid of the unit at least. Uh, yep. Go. Oh, shit. I deleted. Oh, yeah. It doesn't matter either. They don't come back into play anyhow. Yeah. Do I want to take a step loss on that little guy? Probably not. I wonder what those declared attack number markers are for. That's so you can run through them in order, right? Uh, oh, and you change the number on them. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So it's kind of handy if you want to keep track of the attacks. and Because right. you might not want to, you, you might want to do it in a certain order for some reason. Right. To, you know, especially when we're putting air down, right? Oh, I see what it is. It gives you, you can either put the odds or put the DRM in place of that number so you can. Okay. Well, we can start using those next uh, Next oh, round, if you want. We'll be, we'll be playing for hours. We're rolling. Let's go. Roll dice. Yeah, yeah. All right. Roll dice. Exactly. So uh, you want to put a URMG unit down here, please, sir? Uh, okay. I can do that. You get the hell out of the way. You okay. come up here. Hmm. Get rid of you. And we will flip. Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Flip. Another two. With a fort or a strong point. Damn it. Well, 
son of a bitch, 12 and one, two, he's out of range. Now is it uh, range to my hex or to the attack hex? I guess it's to the attack hex, unfortunately. For artillery? Yeah. Yeah, to the attack hex. 14. All right, I got 14, seven to one. It looks like it's gonna be a plus one because I've got an engineer here. Seven to one All right. with, a, with a plus one. You good with that? Because you've got uh, the yeah. river and the. Yep, gotcha. Yep. I don't think there's anything underneath there. So, pull this over so everyone can see it. I don't, oh, Jesus. Again? This is painful. I get to retreat. <sighs> Which he's a zero, so guess what? Yeah. He can't retreat, so he's dead. Wow. We just, we'll, we'll send you to him. We'll wow, wow, wow. So I can't. All right. I had to lose the engineering guy, so. That's, you didn't uh, have to. What uh, yeah, I did. It was a star. Uh, well, actually, it wasn't a star. It was a one. Yeah. Um, that's a good point. Yeah, I'm going to. I'll take the step loss on the infantry. Yeah, because you'll replace the grunts. Yep. Uh, okay. Well. Bad die rolling. I feel. I feel like. Uh, I feel like. Uh, it's like Tony. I feel like Tony. I don't know how Tony feels. God, this is awful. Uh, <laughs> can you pull another unit, please? Uh, I wait. You're right. right. It is much easier to watch on Vassal. I'm sorry. Where are we at? The. No, I'm sorry. Here. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Whoops. Oh shit! Now I'm gonna. <laughs> sorry. What happened? I drug it down in there. Let's see. Try it again. Oh, there we go. Oh, win a win a chicken dinner. Daddy gets a free attack. All right, just get that shit out of there. It's gone. All right, that there. Oh yeah. Wait, there's something else there. Hold on. I think the original. What the fuck is going on here? I got wow, well, you got like 15 of them there. You, well, let me get rid of them. Maybe it's because you're doing it. It's not. I, 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 I didn't touch anything until just then. Don't blame me. Those might be my 072 units in there. Now I got them eliminated. Some of it. 072. Good. Yeah, good luck. Okay. Uh, now this guy. Now, yeah. So swap that guy out for me. There we go. Where are all these twos coming from? Yeah, I'm just Bloody hell. You're hacking the system, bro. Um, <laughs> hey, Brown. you got a river this time. That's 11 factors coming at you. So that's going to be, geez, it's only five to one. Who who organized this combat? And a plus one. Five to one. Yeah, five. What did I say five to one? All right. Dang. I need a one. Come on. Oh my God! <laughs> a one and an asterisk, but I don't think the asterisk does anything for you this time. And I can't retreat, so okay. that's unbelievable. Oh, I keep deleting those. I should put those markers back over there. That's a lot of units lost. All right, now you're starting to make me nervous. But now I have to attack here, so. All right. Well, actually, I don't have to attack, but I can. Uh, I am attacking. Okay, do this one, please. You better pull a one or a zero. <laughs> I guess, damn, he's in there by himself. Aren't you lucky? In the wood, oh, he's in the fortification, too. Whose idea was an attack there? You got to get rid of him. Uh, someone, someone needs to have their head red. Um, all right, so we're going to get... DRM. Do anything. One. The fortified zone does. Yeah, that's a one. Yeah. And no close to no combat bonus. And no combat bonus. So it's it's straight up roll, nine to one. All right. All right. I'm just going to rotate this guy to keep it all legit. No. Nine to one plus one. Yeah, 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 yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Did, I, uh, did I not say that? Yeah. Don't, don't start that action. Hey, I need all the delaying help I can get. Five, six. Yeah. 
from nine to one. Three out. History. Bada boom, bada bing. There you go. Well, this is easy, Kev. What's the deal? You're just rolling. Yeah. Even with bad rolls, you're doing well. Yeah. Uh-huh. Well. All right. Another one. Two of oh, two of them. Woohoo! Big time. Bring in the pain. Jeff, did you set these up or were these the setup at the beginning? I mean, this uh, year... they were set up um, and these were on the board, but did not know. Thank God Kev knew that I have to actually draw these. Yeah, yeah, right. Where's my oh come on, you son of a oh, you know what it did? Kevin exchanged. Hold on. So you got three? The three behind dotted lines. And this is not gonna be good. Fifteen, five to one. That's horrible. Nice, Stigler. Uh, you're right, uh, John. They do need to move the stop signs closer to the border. He's, he'll work on it in the next turn. 15. 5 to 1 plus 2. You got a strong point? No, just plus 1. Yeah. All right. Plus one. Oh. 4. Thank you. You're getting better. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> plus 1? No, sorry. <laughs> but guess what? You killed both my units. Yeah. Get rid of him too. We'll go ahead and take him out of here too. Let's see. Uh, no, no man, non destroyed. Let's see. It's the. Wait, Kev took two hits on that one? He took, no, he took a one asterisk. They Which means have I have to control. lose the engineer. It attacks a non-destroyed enemy fortification. Oh, hang on a second. You know what? What was that die roll? I had an engineer. That there's no DRM. Yeah, so okay. it's a straight up four on a five to one, wasn't it? To okay. retreat. So to uh, suck it. Okay. Suck it, pal. <laughs> Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Wow. Wow. No yeah, we're bring, now we're bringing the pain. No fighting in the war room. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right. Um, now this little muck here. Come on, I need a one or a zero here. Let's go. Where you at? Another one of these damn things I got to get out of the way? Hey, I'm not, I didn't put the units there. I'm just killing them. What, in that rough area there? Right there? Yes, sir. This one. And I know I get something for that and the bottom line. I get a plus one for hills and a plus one for the fortified. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, I'm not attacking that one. Oh, wow. Oh. That says no. declared attack right there. <laughs> yeah, well, you still don't, you don't have to attack, though. No, you're, I know. <laughs> okay, I thought, I, thought you were, I thought you were like, well, man, you've been playing this wrong. I don't want advantages. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, that that one, that one, that's not good. That's not going down. Well, the good news is, I think there's only, only like, if I remember, there's only like two of those in the stack. So that's one of them gone. All right, this NKVD loser. In <laughs> plus two. In 16. Oh, eight to one plus two. Don't yeah. Don't think. Yeah. Why is it, oh yeah, why is it plus two? You only got a strong point. What did I say? Oh, but yeah, oh, yeah, strong point and he's NKBD, he's no retreat. Oh, you get the plus one for the no retreat, right. There's a headquarters nearby that's active, then it's, I get the option if I want to do that. Right, and you're not active. Well. All right, John Nolan, good seeing you. All right, here we go. Seven. Oh, you son of a bitch. Plus, plus two, right? Yeah, what chart were you on? What, I don't know. Eight to one, I think. Two up. One I star. had uh, 10, 16 to two, eight to one. Yeah. One star for you and one for me, and that is a fortified 
So oh. you're going to take another step loss for that. Jeez. No, I, no, 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 I can't no. take, and I can't take two from the same unit, right? That's not fortified. That's just a, a strong point. Okay, that's good. So it's you, have, you didn't have an engineer, so nope. Is that right? You only, yeah, you only lose it one. Okay. All right. <clears throat> Got a string of attacks going on here. All right, another URMG guy. Another uh, battalion or brigade, whatever they're called. Seven to one plus one is what I'm seeing. In the clear. Yep, seven to one plus one. Three, all righty. So that makes it a four. It's white. There we go. That's more like it. This is what I'm used to. This is the sort of rolling I like to see. <laughs> Bring those bad boys in there. All right. These knuckleheads down here, the NKVD. Yep. He's, oh, he's going to get plus one, plus two, plus three, plus four. Three. No, three's the max, champ. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry. You're right. Plus three, three's the max. You're right. So, and then it comes down one for my engineer. Of all the damn rules you had to remember. Oh, sure. Nine, <laughs> 10, 11, 12, 13 combat factors to two, six to one. Six to one plus two? Plus one, plus two. All right. Yeah. Three. That's a five. Nice roll. No. Two R. Uh, that'll do it. Yeah. My help you across the roll, across the river, and we have taken the fortifications. <laughs> oh my God. Was, it, was that a one and one? No. Who oh, was a two R, bro? <laughs> oh, you rolled a three. I thought you said you rolled a six. No, uh, no. Do I? Yeah. All right. So I'm, I'm bringing all my boys. I don't think the artillery can advance, can it? I don't think it can. I think it stays where it is. Um, <laughs> it's crazy talk. Where are we at here? Do I have an untried? You? Oh, no. Oh, you're going after um, that grass? Yeah, probably not, actually. Um, as I think about it, you go. That's, that's, that is, yeah, you're going to, that's river. That is town or city, or city. Yeah. and um, fortified. Oh, all righty then. I'll let you off on this one. Yeah, bring 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 this guy. Get this guy. Uh -huh. The guy next to him. It's, it's going to be a kind of a skinny attack. I shouldn't I shouldn't have done it this way. I was silly. Three, four, five. Okay, I have five factors attacking one. Thank goodness, five to one. Uh, you have to attack this guy if you do that. I do have to attack this guy. Yeah, I do because I screwed up. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, all right. Well, let's do this first. Let's do this other attack first. So four to one. So it'll be four to one. I uh, will not use the 509th. Uh, this this guy, sorry, the 500th. All right. All right. All right. So four to one against your little guy. No mods, I don't believe. I roll a six. Yeah, there's mods. You got a couple of them. Um, you got a rough, or was it hills? Oh, you're in rough. You got a hills and behind the fortified line. Uh, I didn't see the fortified line. Oh, my God. All right. And I said four to one plus, so it's going to be plus three then. All right, that's plus two. Yeah, four to one plus two, and I roll a six. That's going to make it an eight. That's a retreat. That uh, could have been worse. Yeah. All right. So I didn't lose the. That's the first time I get to move a damn unit. Ain't that something? <laughs> one. And I want to go. I can't let you run. So we're going to yeah, go. two 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 exits. All right. All right, so we'll we'll move this guy to here. Now, uh, I will bring seven factors against this hex. That's two, four, five, and you're going to get a plus three, basically, right? Let's see, plus three, yeah, uh, river, fortified, and city. 
Yeah. No, you're not fortified. Yeah, the fortified line. Oh, fortified line. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah you're no, right. You don't have any plus armor there, do you? Nope. Right. Plus three. Uh, and I used the artillery on that one, so that was gone. So what about what? What do you got? Five. And I, so it's one to one, plus basically. Plus. Yeah. Yeah, it's one to one. Oh, this is going to be awesome. Oh, uh, now I need to roll a one. Come on. What about this last time? Oh. That's a nine. That's just oh. a beat down one. Uh, <laughs> Isn't that the same town that the Austrians had trouble with during World War One? Jeez. Premsil or something like that? I'm just going to lose this loot, but I'll lose that here. Send to eliminated. All right. Well, that was a disaster. All right. That's it. How far do you have to retreat? Two axes. Yeah, he also gets a nose off, doesn't he? Right? I mean, not that it matters, but your guy gets a nose off. What is that? Or is it a different game? <laughs> no, the only, you get that overrun markers. That's it in this game. You didn't do any overruns. I thought you got a, uh, hang on a second. Oh, shoot. Maybe you don't. Okay. All right. Okay, so uh, that was the fun part, uh, <laughs> they say. Uh, it's now my axis motorized movement phase. And in this phase, normally I would get to move half, but I get to move all yep. my movement points. Yep. Yep, full motorized for, I think, that and cavalry, isn't it? Yep, and any, and any uh, but it's not the units that are in his own control, though, right? Or is it all of them? Let me just check. Hang on. Uh, da, da, da. You can't overrun. Well, no, yeah, you can too. Much. Yes, I can. We There's can do one hex movement. Control that I know of. No, that's right. I'm just thinking of different games. So, so let me go. Uh, let me go top side here and have a look. What is this NKBD unit? Is this something I killed and you just didn't put it in the wrong spot, right spot? What the hell? We're getting a lot of little anomalies in this shit. <coughs> You're an anomaly. Um, hey. <coughs> right. Oh, it's really fine now. Come on now. Three. Seven. Are you doing the motorized movement segment now? Yeah. Why is this jagging like this? It won't uh, go into that hex. That's really weird. Oh, wow. That's something. Look at that. Well, just trust me, it's in hex 3006. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I can't seem to get it to go where it's supposed to go. Um, right. Didn't kill that unit. That's a problem. Hang on. Let me. There's a cat scratching at the door. Oh, oh where did you gonna go? Where you gonna go? So you can. Can he overrun during this time, Jeff? He can. These are these first couple of turns are his biggest. Um, yeah, he's got to really take advantage, okay. right? I mean. Okay. You know what? Let's just, since that's bothering me, I'm just going to move it back one X anyway. Let's move it back again. Since it won't sit properly there. One. That is kind of weird. Yeah. I can move it. Well, here's the great thing about these games is you start out with a plan and you adjust based on the results. So, right, right. So who can, so only motorized can move during this part, right? In cavalry. Okay. So we are going to go. Mm. Now, the, I have, when it comes to my turn, the uh, Soviet movement, um, the first one's motorized. If I have a, an active headquarters, like the one that's under that interdiction marker, in, if there's a, a like an infantry unit or another combat unit within his uh, four hex range, you can activate special activate in the motorized movement the same number of units that is equivalent to his command value. 
and move them during the motorized phase. Okay. But as you can see, he has quite efficiently interdicted all my headquarters. Okay. And how does he get to choose those? Uh, you Well, it, this one's pre-plotted at, at the start of this game, but uh, he'll, during his air, air interdiction phase, which is oh. at the beginning, he can okay. fly missions, and I can counter the missions. Er, yes, Erwin, it is, brother. Um, overruns cost uh, a number of moving points. How many, how many is that? Do you know? It's just the one into the hex and then the one for the overrun, isn't it? Oh, it's just the okay. I thought. Yeah, no, real quick while you're no I think I think you're right. Um, uh, it's one for the zone of control and then one, one for the control. zone of control. All right, and one for the hex. Uh, yes, Irwin, Typhoon is a part of the EFS series. Is that not right? Yeah. But is it is it going to get wrapped up in the reprint of Center? No. All right. Uh, I, I'm. <clears throat> I can overrun across a river, right? Across this minor river, so I just don't get the bonuses. Nine. Where's the little movement? I tell you, there's a lot of things this game does good. That little movement chart that they create. Yeah. That is freaking awesome. Fifteen. I'm just looking at the. Uh, Which one are you talking about, Jeff? The chart number, table card number two, the movement phase chart at the top left corner. Yeah. That's a great little. And then at the bottom one tells you what during the phase what you can do. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just looking at the the mods for overruns. I'm just trying to find that little chart here somewhere. Yeah. I think there's a plus two on, it's on the uh, table on card a, on, a, on a five to one. Table right. card number one. Bottom yeah, right. but as mod as uh, the adjustments. Oh yeah, you got to be five to one. Yeah, and that's going to be a plus two. Yeah. Yeah. There's there's a lot of in this game. Plus one for the river. Well, I'm gonna have to do it because I got to clear. I got to clear unless I go this way. Yeah. So for those watching out there, for overruns in this game, the German player has to get at least five to one odds to do an overrun he wants to at least have seven to one but he has to get five to one and the soviets have to get what is it nine no seven to one i think uh, nine to one nine to one okay all right here we go one movement point one and a half movement points and then two and a half uh for the zoc and uh I'm going to overrun that hex. I have five to one. Right. It's a plus three, I think, because you have a strong point and the river and the overrun, but you can only have a maximum of three. Right. And I get no bonuses because I'm, hang on a sec, because I'm coming across the river, so I don't get the divisional integrity bonus. Which, well, actually, I did do. In fact, I think I do. But nevertheless, it's still going to be minus three anyway, or plus three anyway, because you have a potential of four DRMs, right? Um, because it's one for the stream, one for the um, strong point, and uh, two for the five to one. Right. That makes it a four. Three so, packs, so, yeah, but so even if I do get the, my point is with 14th Panzer gets the divisional integrity bonus, I believe, brings it down one, but I'm not going to get, uh, so even if I get it, it's still a plus three. Yeah, it's still going to be a plus three. You with me? Yep. Okay, Kim Wasabi. So plus three on five to one. Fuck. Oh, oh, dude. <laughs> well, the good news is it's no effect. Right. Yep. Overrun fails and stack. No. Oh, you rolled a 10? Yeah. No, that's 30. Oh, no, no. We don't look at the CRT. No, it's a, that's a lot. Of, we use the different table. That's bad. Lose uh -oh. one step and cease your movement. Well, what chart are you using? Overrun table, bottom of chart number one. 
Oh, shoot. Oh, yikes. There you go. Wow, that's a bit tough. Unfortunately, I'm not overstacked there. <clears throat> wow. Okay. Oh, yeah. Hold on, kid. That, well, it doesn't matter. It would, have been, it would have only been a plus two. Why is that? Look at the uh, item number three on the overrun table at the bottom. Yeah. Room number three. The maximum for any terrain or hex or fortification yeah. stuff like that's only plus two. Oh, okay. But nevertheless, it was still yeah. it was still a twelve. Um, it was still a uh, overrun fails. So that would have made it uh, plus two. with Sean made it twelve. So all right. Okay. Well, and it looks like the um, Soviets can overrun at seven to one. Yeah, seven to one. Thanks, Todd. Yeah, any non jerks are the Italians, the Slavs, the Hungarians, and the Soviets. Yeah, I don't get many opportunities as the Soviets. So well, I wouldn't think so. Geez. <laughs> Definitely not in Kiev or Rostov. Right. So, do you get any chances in this? I mean, I don't really to counterattack in this scenario. Are you really just moving back, defending to hold them? Yeah, this is going to be well. I have to do mandated attacks, which I have to do three a turn. Well, I know three on the first turn. And then I, all my replacements will tell me if I have to do any or not. And oh. if I don't do them at the end of the turn, he gets a victory point for each mandated attack. Wow. Do. That's that's a cool, that's kind of an interesting. Yeah. Now my mandated attack, now the, the rules, of, they, they finally changed because it was impossible. I have to have, I think the minimum odds is three to two or six steps attacking, no matter what the odds are. That's, that's kind right. of, I like, it's an interesting rule. Yeah. Kind of sucks looking at your position, though. <laughs> yeah, this is, I got to pick points in this game so that he can't effectively stretch his supply. 98 NKVD did their job. Shut up, Todd. Yeah, it is. Uh, uh, <laughs> Irwin, if you go on, on Kev's channel, Big Board Gaming, he actually gutted one of his rooms, threw all his family members out and sold all his furniture, and he laid out the maps to all the games on the floor. It's pretty big. Well, that sucks. So then, Kev, you're talking about Typhoon, so you have to find Typhoon to complete the... That's a bummer. Yeah. That's, a, that's an old one. So, all right. I'm sure everyone here knows, but these are on pre-order again. At okay, so I have to, um, I have to, even with my armor, uh, I, I, with my armor, I have to stop with the zone of control. Or do I get the point? Where is the, uh, I think I still have to stop, right? Yeah, look at that. Uh, let me see. I'm looking for a little chart. Uh, unfortunately, my printout is all one-sided. During so, motorized movement, may enter a zone of control, yes. Must pay one movement point to enter a zone of control, yes. And must stop when entering a zone of control, yes, with the exception of overrun. Right, right, right. Okay. So, yeah, that's just you can continue moving. So. Yeah, I was just trying to sneak by. Um well, let's do this thing. Dang, that hurt. One, two, three. Four, five, six. Okay. Two, three, six. And the overrun seven. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh, let's see. Nothing just I got 10, 16, 16, 18, 20. Once again, five to one. And no mods this time. Uh, well, just plus two, right? Well, you got, you got what? You got, that's a motorized? Yeah, plus, plus, plus the, plus the, plus the divisional. So that's a one. And don't you have CA? CA? And does that count for overrun? I think it must, right? I think all those things count. Yeah. So it's a zero, so no, it's just a rule roll, I think. Yeah, combined. A roll thing. Oh wait, yeah, I'm just a grunt, so I don't have anything opposing your combined arm ability. Yeah. So I got I got cab and um, and panzer division integrity. So that's two. 
and I, I have to play, have to pay plus two for the five to one. So it's a net okay. five to one. Okay. Oh yeah, five. I got you. Got you. Okay. And I roll the one. That's better. So you um, you lose a step and you retreat two hexes. Bastard. <laughs> It's my first one for the game, or second one for the game. The grunt down here. Yeah, yeah. So this, this, guy, or this guy here. Yeah, yeah. All those steps. Oh, he. What's his defense? Oh, he's a four. Hmm. What is going on here? Step. Okay, so go one, two. Three, oh, okay, and then I got to Would you say retreat? Four. Yeah. Okay. Uh, and, and you lose a step. Yeah. Two. So retreat two, and you get the overrun marker. Can't let you just have your fucking way around these roads. Oh, now hang on a second. <laughs> What's an over? Let's see here. Yeah, I'm gonna have to stick him right there. I don't want to do that. No, fuck that. We're going down here. All right. Okay. Well, good for you, little man. Um, one, two, that was three, four, five, six, seven. So that's as far as I can go, I believe. Except for these guys, they can go nine. You need an overrun marker on this dude, bro. Oh, sorry, my bad. I got it. You got it. No Zoc, I so it. I can I can go. But you already put it on there, fucker. Is um then the same advance after combat, just one hex? Uh, you no, know, but I'm overrunning, so I, I'm moving. This guy's got two movement points left. Oh, sweet. Oh, sweet. So he's gonna go. I mean, I'm sorry, Jeff. I can't decide who I'm rooting for here. I remember, I remember my first game of this I played was this battle right here. So this is I'm expecting this for about three or four turns. Well, let's see. Where, where, or where do... I'm sorry, Stig. My bad. What's Stig doing? He's oh. hollering me about cussing. He's hollering at you about cussing? Yeah. Well, you better get used to it. He's going to watch my channel. <laughs> I, I, he's, I, he's just being funny, I'm sure. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's like, that's like, I like, you can watch my channel for a long time. It's going to be a little bit of cussing, bro. Um, I need to really just hang on a second. I need to think about this. Take your time. Don't hurt nothing. These, um, just look at these movement charts, Jeff. I mean, th there's a lot of stuff about movement on here on this game. Yeah. This yeah. is great. I can't get, I mean, I can't think of any other game that did something like that. One. All the different, like, the categorize when they can move, how much they, wow, there's a lot of. Okay. Um, let's see, I should have done that overrun first before yeah. one. I mean, that division. Texas has a lot of tumbleweeds. If your brain catches fire, you might set that state on fire. <laughs> you, you're so funny. <laughs> I just love you, Jeff. You're fine. <laughs> um, let's do that then. Ah, oh, Stigler, sailor. Stigler, we need to keep these guys in line, so I think it's okay to call them out on their language. That's good. <laughs> yeah, I promise I won't fucking cuss too much. <laughs> yeah, I fucking hate it when you cuss like that. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Um, damn, boys. Let's bring the pain. Look, I've got another division all the way over here. Let's go, fellas. They're not even close to done. He's got one. Oh, geez. Oops, my, my screen just locked up. Hang you on. got two stuff going on there. My vassal's not responding. Just bear with me for a second. Uh oh, I hope everyone's saved. Oh, dear. Don't do that. Oh, dear. Come on. You might want to save the game right now. Me? Just, yeah, just for shits and giggles. Oh, no. Oh, no. I can't. What's the date, Shane? Sure, you can. Oh, April, motherfucking fools. I'm working on it. I'm getting there. I'm getting there. Unbelievable. Well, you know, actually, I wouldn't mind having to have to do over up to this time. <laughs> right. I got to say. Yeah, what, do we, what the hell do we need a vlog for anyhow? We're playing it live. Well, I know, but, you know, if Somebody we want to watch it step by step. 
Well, no, it's more if we make a like if I'm, we make some tragic mistake, we can always rewind it, and that way we don't have to restart or do anything stupid. Uh -huh. Yeah, I think we're screwed. I'm, I'm looking like. Uh... All right, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to exit right. and come back in, and you're live anyway, and it'll be fine. So just hang, hang, hang. Right. Bathroom break. Boop. Yeah, yeah everyone, intermission. Go bathroom. Everyone go pee pee. Oh, chicken nuggets. All right. Let's try that again. Now oh, that's a damn light going. Now Vassal's pooping itself. Here we go. Chicken nuggets. Is he really making chicken nuggets? Yeah, I ordered from a, a DoorDash McDonald's. I do that once in a while. And I always get an order of chicken nuggets and save them for later. I'm glad you talked me into doing this, man. You make it you make it sound like I had to twist your arm, damn you. You you you, you did. You son of a bitch. Because I'm, anybody will tell you. Dip, 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 and that's all, folks. I'm yeah. scared to death of trying to play this shit. So there's Stigler, damn it. Maybe eventually you and I can get into a GBACW game now that I'm actually enjoying Basel. Oh, I see what's going on. It's waiting for me to pick a person to synchronize against. There we go. Okay. All right. Now we're in. All right. Now, these guys started up here. One, two, three. Curly. Which one are you, John? Curly Mo or Larry? Four, five. Or is that, what's his name, Jackie Gleason? Hang on. That's not the direction we want to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven to there. <clears throat> Go ahead, let that little recon unit come on after four more hexes. Mm -hmm. It won't hurt him. Well, not that I got anything that can reach his ass one, anyhow. Two, three, four. Tell you what, I love a partner life because I ain't got to walk too far to get to anything. <laughs> you cracked me up, dude. No. Oh. Hmm. Well, something tells me we ain't getting Lavov in uh, four turns. This is not a good start. Uh, let's see. Let me shit, I can move here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah. All right. Uh, did those guys? They did advance. So, like, how much does it cost to go on a bunch, right? The armor is plus. Oh. It's just two? No, swamp is prohibitive in my eyes. That's right. Stig, you got anything to do with the uh, the four expansions or the whatever for death? Uh, death you got any hand in that? Okay, um, that's my engineering phase. Which means Let's see. Where markers come off? Yeah. Uh, uh, access railroad conversion. Boring. Um, fortify destroyed markers and remove strong points, right? Mm -hmm. Or is that is that in the same turn? Well, see, that's the way I translate because I couldn't find a rule that said that said I had to sit a whole nother turn in there. 
And if you got an engineer in there, it's definitely instantaneous. So, yeah. And if there's no engineer, is it a roll? See, I don't know. I've kept, I've, I've been playing K2R that if I'm sitting in there at the end of the turn when I hit the, the engineering phase, it comes off. Because you know? I can't find any rule that says I got to sit for a whole right. other turn. Well, I tell you what, let's just leave all that shit for the moment and right. I'll, I'll let's noodle on it. Uh, and we can, we'll just make a note to check that. Right. Um, let's see. No bridge repairs, no flips. Railroad. Well, it's hardly, I guess we should do rail. Shit. And then it gets, then it's under your, uh, where was your reaction phase? You didn't, I didn't you have anybody, nothing had to be yeah. motorized. With that That's right. That's right. Um, okay. So rail, now this is where it gets complicated with this friggin' rail. Yeah, Kevin, isn't this the part about this game you're kind of questioning? Um, well, it's not, it's not that it's, uh, it's not that per se. It's just when, after turn three or four, basically, you have more supply than you have the capacity to move around mm. or bring on the board. And I found myself uh, not spending at all, and um, it never got to come on the board because if it doesn't doesn't come on, you lose it. Okay, railroads. Interesting. Okay. Um, yes. So game turn one through five, map E, I get six rail conversion points. Right. Uh, so let's just, I'm just looking for the rail heads and to see if I can advance them even one hex. I think this is the this is the brain in the strategy part of this game is those rail lines. Yeah. Hey, Stigler, what game are you uh, talking about? The, which game? You said an expansion for what game? He's still in a G GBA CW module. Oh, uh, or helping. Second Winchester. Yeah, Death Valley. They're doing a four game expansion. So uh, I think here, here we go. So I can do this hex one, two. Uh, all right. Can you, uh, can you go through that fortification? Because it's not destroyed yet. Okay. Yeah, but I think. I think we're. I think what we're saying is that it's going to be. But so let's, yeah, I, I think it is. I've been playing right. K2R like that, so. I mean, it's not like I'm going to attack oh, for, in that instance. And, and then I can only, you can only move each rail. Is it two hexes? Or is it, I think it's two uh, from memory. Let me see. Rail conversion, page 30. It is. So, Jeff, what are the rail lines with the little explosion markers? What's that mean? That's my end of it where he's rebuilding. Yeah, I, 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 for the longest time, I kept running, well, what the hell do you need those for? But then when they split, they come in handy. That's where, you know the deal, where he's converting the Soviet rail gauge. Yeah. Oh, <clears throat> uh, here we go. Um, I'm just looking for the maximum per head. No more than four. Four. Okay, that's cool. So that was one, two, three. So I don't know where the rest of the rail or if there is. Yeah, three. One, two, three. Four. <clears throat> okay. Now, this guy can't go anywhere because of the uh, your doohickey. And I don't think there's one down here. There's no rail here. I can't move this. Can I move this one? Where's the railhead here? Hmm. Oh, it's already there. Uh, I can't move into your hex. I mean, if I'm in the hex, I don't believe. So that's that's it for rail. I think that means it's your player segment, and I'm going to look up the fortification rules, and I'll pull those things off if they're eligible. Does that sound fair? Yes, sir. All right, I'm going to mute myself for a minute. You carry on. With you don't have any bridge stuff? You didn't have any bridge stuff you needed? Any bridge stuff? Um, that's a good oh, question. There's no rivers up here, really. So. I got to take yeah. the move one marker off. That's part of your engineering phase. Well, I guess the only the only thing that I might want to do is, well, I, don't you have to lay the bridge marker in 
in the beginning of the turn. You have to drop it on the construction side, and then you, unless you have an engineer there, then it's instantaneous. Yeah. But do you even need any with those little minor rivers? I don't think so. I, I think uh, my supply is going to be fine. Uh, I've got a, a road across here. Oh, yeah, I didn't ask you. Did you, because I didn't, I don't know whether you did or not. Did you have any trucks? I know you didn't need supply, but did you have any trucks you needed to move on? Yeah, I did not move trucks. Back, on. Go ahead and backtrack and do that. That would be silly. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That is for fun. some reason. I don't know why. Yeah. All right. All right, Stigler. So battles for Shenandoah expansion for Death Valley. Battles for the Shenandoah. Cool. LBW says, sup, fellas. Just got done with our Vakton Vine game with Clay. File. Steve-O. The, the decision games. I have to build up the courage to do Vassal. Yeah, I don't do it very much myself, Erwin, but it is nice for games like this especially. Well, they go here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, I would say the toughest thing is just your first time loading Vassal and knowing where you put the files and just it's not that it's not that hard. It's just something different to think about, but once it's done, it's done. I can bring three. I think I can bring three on in the first turn. Uh, where is my thing? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. It's kind of a slow way to go. But what about rail movement? You got rail movement points, don't you? No, not turn one, I don't believe. All right. I'll if if I screwed anything major up, uh, I guess we'll fix it. But um, I think that's it. that's my MSU's. Okay. You broke so you go head. ahead, you go ahead and let me um, right. let me read these rules regarding fortification. I replaced the stuff the first turn, so I'm going to go right into Soviet motorized movement. Whoa! I just lost the page. There we go. Soviet player segment. Oh yeah. Oh, let's see. So would you normally do what that you would normally do weather, right? That already be done at the beginning of the turn. Yeah, it's it's clear first turn. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out where this so yeah, I'm gonna clear all the moved markers because for some reason. Oh yeah, yeah, sure. Moved markers. Oh, let's see. Well, at least my headache cleared up. I feel a lot better. Oh, that's good. But uh, I think that I, I opened up a bunch of windows, so that you can. No one's trying to kill for each check that is adjacent to access unit for that is a strong points. Here we go. Okay, so you don't have to do that. Can the Soviets break down? Uh, I don't believe so, but. I don't remember reading anything about that, but they just—they got some no. generic units, and that's why I was wondering. <clears throat> Let's see. I'll look that up while you, because uh, you've got your motorized stuff now, right? Yeah. So you're not even checking for supply, Jeff, because you're in supply for everything. For the first, yeah, and yeah, and it's—it's it's hard to take the Soviets. You really got to circle them, and there's not like an attrition penalty anymore unless you hit the surrender rule, and that's a pain in the ass. All right. Two points, two points, two points. I'm not giving those two X's up. I'm just trying to figure out where you are in the sequence of play. Oh, he's on the advanced sequence of play. He's on section C, which is on page uh, three. And he's looking at um, section one, Soviet motorized movement. So all his motorized units can move to a full movement, but I think in turn one it's limited. I'm not sure. Gotcha. As long as that one you sent via email. It's... There's a lot of charts in this game. Yeah, I, you know, so I have a bunch of bunch of units that are marked that can't be touched this turn, or, and there's some for two turns, unless he goes over and smacks one of them in the face. I think it sounds like I'm the bad guy. He's getting sacrificed. Mm. 
Yeah, see the see uh, Todd the the um, rail conversion is interesting too. So on map E, you can do six hexes, but in Poland, which is a lot of it's on map E, I believe you can do an additional two hexes. So it's eight, roughly speaking, in on map E, and then on game turns six through twelve on maps E and G, you can do six per turn and do two extra in East Poland. And then it gets even more complicated because then you get into, well, you can only do, uh, there's a rule about the Hungarian rail lines, stuff like that. So it's all fun and games. Wow. Um, fortifications, 29. I guess it's going to be on engineering. Now. The weather's dry, right? For the first three yeah. turns. Yes, it is. 29. 29. You're looking for something in particular? I'm just trying to decide which unit can get where. Right. Yeah, because if you if you give me a rough idea where you are when you're moving, I'll I'll, I'll double click so you can see it. You got follow preference on? Uh, no, I don't. Because uh, I I trust you. And I'm trying to look up. I'm trying to look up your stupid rules. So just if you can just call it roughly, call out where you are, and then I'll move the the screen for the for those folks that are watching. Uh, so we we peaked at about thirty people, and the hardcore are hanging out. Uh, Seventeen now. So Kev, Stevie Jones says, Steve here. Did you ever get a hold of Eric at Eric's table? Yes, I did, mate. And we're going to get together, and uh, he's going to be on the Voices You Need to Hear channel. Oh, sweet. Or session, or whatever you want to call it, series. Curmudgeons with die stats. This Fagile module looks good. Is it close to the game and functionality? Seems like it. I would say yes. Yeah, I mean, it looks like the game, so. <laughs> <laughs> Other than Kev can't move that armor, that motorized unit up next to my armor. Yeah, unit. that one that one little unit um, wouldn't sit in that hex probably, would it? Dude, I got mandatory attacks I got to make, too. So. Yeah. Huh. I just, first of all, I can't believe I can move your pieces. That makes me nervous, but yeah, I couldn't move it either. Oh, yeah. I, I, I had a guy turn up once that kept double clicking. I, I was trying to play with my buddy Steve, and he kept double clicking on the stacks and moving stuff. And I said, like, dude, stop. <laughs> Any tank unit down here in Lutsk. I don't know if you can see it, Kev. Over here in the 41 hex, or I'm ready to move. Oh, okay. The, the two motorized anti tank units over here. Yep. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Stay hmm. under. Look at my camera. So I'm locked on to move with him. Come on, let's see. I'm full and I don't know if I can activate armor trains, flotillas. Mm -hmm. What, no gunboats? <laughs> cavalry cut in half. I don't think I have any cavalry. Yeah, I do have a couple. I'm gonna move that other one now. Let's see. One. Where are you moving? Two. Uh, he's um. Five. Oh, hang on. Three. Right. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, God, I hate throwing all these fucking units right out there in the clear like that. But I don't have any. <laughs> Speak up so we can, we can enjoy this fabulous oh, commentary. I'm sorry. This is the, the pain of deciding who I'm going to sacrifice <laughs> to delay his ass. <laughs> right. All right. Armor unit up top on that far north road next to your SS. Yep. Right here. 41st tank. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We're going to go down here. We're going to close. We're going to close with your motorized bastards. One. Jeez. Two, three. Oh, no, that's that hex, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, well, it didn't work for yours either. So something in the design. You know, it's probably a map, yeah, map a map join or something. Mm. That's weird. Do well, I if you're going to attack, that's cool. Just go, you know, wherever. Oh, I don't want to attack. Oh, I, yes, oh. I, I got to do something. Yep. You know, attack, uh, man. Victory points. Stalin wants you to attack. Clay? Man, you're hollering. Was Clay on here? 
Oh, I thought you said Stone. No. I said oh, Stalin. Said Stalin. Uh, Stalin wants you to attack. There's not enough freaking... I'm going to end up giving victory points up on this one. Joseph says, you must attack. Thanks a lot, Joseph. Soviet problems. Uh, see, a fortification or just uh, is destroyed when an enemy division or an engineering unit remains in the fortification hex during the engineering phase. And the engineering phase is the beginning of the turn. So they don't come off okay. uh, until the next engineering phase. So I'm going to go back here and move this um, doohickey back one because I think it was right there. It doesn't say cool. anything about uh, a combat unit can destroy it too. Yeah, a division. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh okay, okay, okay. Which is why I left divisions in most of them, I think. Except yeah, the Germans are mostly divisions anyhow, I think, aren't they? Yeah, I'd be very powerful. <laughs> very powerful. All right. LBW, uh, you need to load the vassal module to zoom in. That's how Kev uh, runs it. Kev, Kev, pull it down to where Lavaf is like on the bottom of the screen right in the middle. Yeah. And then you can see me move these other. Yeah. Oh, actually, they can see it. I'm looking at the screen right there. Yeah. Yeah, I got I'm you. Move yeah. Here, uh, where all this motorized shit is over here in Brazil. Yeah. You need to move those guys. They're just sitting there resting in that town. Come on. Well, that town's critical. It's four, it's four VPs you know, or something like that if you get it within the first four turns. Mm. Otherwise, it's one. So that's why it's surrounded, and it's also a, a, a supply hub. So it's pretty important. I don't know why my map's not moving with. Uh... You got to set your preference. I did. I was oh, I did. Well, maybe I need to double click something too to to zoom it. My bomb, Kev. Um, I need to make sure I have it. Uh, Brian, you can move stuff around. I've been moving stuff around in there just to. It's helping them out, so so yeah, I don't touch anything. All right, so one, two, three, four. God damn it! All right, we're gonna drop you there, buddy. Ooh, tanks! I got tanks. Tanks for the memories. <laughs> uh, it's a full spectrum comedy show tonight, baby. <laughs> My cavalry. Uh, what the hell kind of mess have you created over here for me? Yeah, our one Sachs, I agree with Phil Chestnut. Just download a smaller module of a game you know and give it a shot. And go into War Gamers and say, who can join me on Vassal? And they can help walk you through it, I'm sure. Because there are nice people on there, unlike me, who I just say, well, one, one and a half. Where is he moving? Where is he moving? One, two, three. There. Come on, Jeff. Wake up, buddy. <laughs> you must not move east too fast there, Fritzy. Let's see. One, two, three. Oh, now we're talking. Hey, hey. I got it here. I got a bunch of tanks. Oh, some motorcycles. They're probably they got wait. Motorcycles. The Soviets have motorcycles. I didn't know that. A serious defense unit right there, boy. Where are you? Still in there? Yeah, I gotta get. Well, you, you watch. You'll see what I'm getting ready to do. So, let's go ahead and we'll take Billy Bob armor here. Where is he at now? You know, where are you at there, Jeff? It's not uh, so I'm, uh, I'm in the stack to the right of Vav over Brody. I got that armor unit selected, the top one. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, yes. So we're going to go straight up one, straight up the track, two, three, four, five. Hello, tank. Hello, recon unit. Jeff, you got that. Good. Oh, he's got friends. Well, we know they're going to get there, so. And he's got cool. more friends. 
So what do we got sitting here? We got uh, six, seven, eight. All right. Eight, dude, that's four to one. We're going to take Billy Bob and his motorcycles and go in there too. That's uh, six, seven in there. There, am I talking loud enough? All right, damn it. All right. Fucking awful. I'm telling you, man, in freaking Kiev to Rostov, there's no freaking tank units that are this big. Um, and I can't use strategic moving either on this, this sub nope. on this first turn. All right. See you, Charles. I see you, Chuck. San Diego, Chuck. Oh, I got way back over here. Stevie Jones. Bunch my grandfather rocks. on my mother's side was in the Wehrmacht in Russia from 41 to death in 44. That's uh, it's not something we want to brag about. Died from pneumonia from a bullet wound. Was a wow. group south. All right, I'm gonna move that five four five tank unit. Oh wait, not there. Let's go. We'll go farther east here. Bring some more stuff forward. And this map is humongous. I gotta sit. Yeah, but wait. I, oh yeah, where's the map dividing line? Because I gotta remember not to touch anything on um. Oh, it's right here. Or those do not move. Holy cow! This is a big map. <laughs> Let me look at my. Look. Well, it's it's three modules put together. Here we go. So there is that. Oh. All right. So that's not F. That's G. I can move them units. <laughs> Come on, tanks. I need you over here, buddies. All right. Tell you what. I think you're in this energy. Yeah. Where, where, where are you right now? I'm going. I'm going to stay around with Bob right now. The Bob. Okay. Now I'm going to bring all that shit in that's way over here to the right. All right, I'm going to move this 545 tank unit over here near Clements to the right of Bob, about 12 hectares. Yep, I right. see it. The, the, the 37th tank, yeah. All right, where do we want him to go? See, I have to keep my mind on this shit in the south here, actually, too. Yeah, I think this is an interesting thing for the Soviets. There's so much, I mean, where do you put your people in? This is All right, let's fascinating. See. Do I want to bring him north? No, I don't want him to have this hub down here. Two. Two, three, four, five, or two, Why is it three, not four, five to there. All right. Cavalry, cavalry, do your thing. Get in their fucking way. So we're going to go one. Two, three. One. Uh, 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 uh. One. Uh, LBW, it's uh, the wardrobe slash Todd. Who's the narrator? One and a half. I'm going to go one, two. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm looking up rules. Kev paid me big money to be uh, the color commentary. So you're welcome, everybody. And what a sterling job you're doing. He's our Frank Gifford for the night. <clears throat> I'm doing a fantastic job. Um, yeah, I'm sure they have Russian front with uh, everything on it, Erwin. It's uh, been around a while. Man, I don't want God, I hate that face. What's, well... I also need to remember too that I get a movement phase here in a second. So, so when I was scrolling all the way around, I saw all those pieces. Are these all in play in this scenario you guys are playing? Yeah, eventually. Wow, that's so many. Yeah, this this campaign's twenty eight turns. Does movement round up or down? Like if, if it's half. We had this discussion last night. You straightened me out on it. Did I? Yeah. <laughs> well, good. Then uh, I, I know what we're doing then. Okay, that's a good thing. Because <laughs> I don't remember. I need 
to see what kind of terrain he's in here. Do you have any artillery nearby? That bastard does. <clears throat> Well, Fritzy, I cannot afford for you to be moving so fast, so slow your ass down somehow. God, I hate to put that shit up there, though. Motorized. Three, so he's three, four, five. What the hell three. is he and what is he moving? There we go. Okay. Nice. Oh, I got a freaking... So, Stigler, I think my big thing about isn't about losing a game. I just want to make sure I'm, uh, I have some competence level of the rules. Of course, now watching these two guys, I guess I shouldn't worry about that. Oh, thanks. Hello. Hello. Oh, oh, wow. Hey. Hey, let's make sure we don't invite you back. Right, we're going to move the choo-choo train down the yonder. No, that's, that, that's, that's where I always hesitate, Stickler. Oh, wait. No, can't move the choo-choo train. Sorry. Moving him back. <clears throat> yeah, I, no, no trains to one, bro. We pretty much guaranteed well, to lose unless I'm playing Kev. So. I couldn't move the NKVD either. Sorry, my bad. My bad. Am I going to have to look up and actually watch you, or am I going to have to? Uh, I, 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 I got to read some of these rules. You read. I got it. I'm Maybe trying to look up. See. That marker was hidden from me. I didn't see it. Uh, I don't know if this helps, Kev. It says fractions are retained when printed MAs are halved or increased because the unit may use road movement or uh, that doesn't tell what you need to know, I guess. I'm just looking at uh, reaction moves. Uh, going to be half movement, so three and a half. Is it three or is it four? It's going to make a difference. It just says half movement. It's rule fourteen dot one is the rule. It's Three and a half moved. Oh, here we go. Remer refer to MA conversion chart. That's that's right. There's a chart for this. Of course there is. There's a chart. Here it is. So it's the chart number card two. And we go to access, motorized, half. It just says half. Um, retain half fractions. It's not helping. Interesting. Yeah, what? One, so you're saying, yeah, look, I don't, I'm really skimming rules here, but it says. Here it is, half movements, seven is three and a half. It doesn't. Well, obviously it's three and a half is not four, so it can't go to where I thought it would. All right, that's fine. That won't help them. Plan Z. Not want to fuck with that unit right here. <laughs> but I do want to delay that unit. So one, two. You go. True, Stigler. Good point. What do we got underneath here? Artillery. If anyone has any clue where he is, uh, please. I'm, I'm still in oh, I see. the bomb area. I see, uh, I see where you are here. Okay. I just moved that tank unit there. Yep. But you can't even see my mouse moving, can you? No. Yeah. Yeah. For some reason, it's not. mine's not clicking to you. It clicked to Kev, but it's not click following you. Oh. Wait, well, hold on. Right, let me try this. Did that do anything? Uh, oh, I can see. I can see. It doesn't have me on follow, so he, it won't. Yeah. If he had me on follow and I did it, you would it would zoom to me. Yeah. All right. Oh, just, that's interesting. I just, you know, when I'm trying to look at the map and do stuff, I don't want to be jacked I got around. I got you. Um, okay, here we go. We will put it on central on opponents moves. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. This is a pain in the ass on these first couple turns. Yeah, it's good. It's really rough on the Soviets, but Hey, at least you got a good, it looks like you might have a half decent attack coming here. Three, four, five. Nope. You know what the name of this game is, so. I might just take my motorcycles and go up one. Yeah, same with me, Brian. Three, four. And my grunts. 
I believe. Yeah, it says unfollow. One, two, three, four. Kev, if you're using Vassal 3.5, you can use the Flare facility. Flare. Alton C. What? I don't know what. Oh, look at all this tank units down here. Low left click. Well, just be just be careful of you know, your map edges, all right? Map edges? Oh well, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you well, they're F on the right. F and G are to the right, so don't be swearing at me, bro. F and U -F. Yeah, really. That's pretty rough. U F and G. Oh, yeah. There. There's you can go over there. The yeah, that's map B. E. They were all on map B, e, so you should be good. Yeah. Although it is mapping south. No, you're fine. I'm just. Yeah. Read your damn rule. Yeah, LBW says, uh, got your email. Emailed you back. No worries. I'm Two. around tomorrow. Two and a half. Yeah, cool. Yeah, I was trying to. I was supposed to give him a call. And... It didn't happen. Man, I got a shit ton of armor. That's for sure. All right, you're going to have headaches right there, so I think I'm good with that. Let's. <laughs> That's pretty good in Chestnut. Chestnut's strategy is I just joke about whatever they are most passionate about. Uh, and if you can see the joke in it, you know I'm good. <laughs> this guy's. What do these must be fucking KV2s? One, two, three. Grunts. Mechanized grunt, motorized grunts. One, two, three, four, five. Uh, uh, running illegal software. That's my, that's my dice hacker. One, it's not working tonight. Three, four. <laughs> oh, God. It's my Tony, my Tony die roller got installed. Seven. I'm surprised he he didn't get on here and and say hey tonight. What's up with him? He's a long way. What can I tell you? One, two, three, four, uh, four. We're gonna keep you. I think five, six. We'll keep you right there. Oh, what have we here? They can't move all that. Can't, they can't move that. We know, well, this down here just, just fucking irks me. What map is this down here? This Where are you at? In it? Or is this F? No? If you hover uh, over a unit on the map, it'll tell you what map it's that, it's, okay. that it's map E, south, something, right? All right, there's E. Okay. That doesn't, they should have really... Because you would think that these guys wouldn't have been able to move either, but they're on map E. But hey, LBW, we'll see you. Thanks for popping in. See you, Steve. Steve. LBW. Steve O. Steve O. Okay, you down in the south still? Yeah, I'm just I'm down there looking on the the four or five units that are on the E map. Right. E map. You know, though that doesn't that doesn't even sit well with me that they would be able to move because they're part of that whole other group down there. So I'm gonna sort of commit myself to saying that they are actually part of the F map, even though they look like they're on E and G. All right, so here we go. So the, oh, I see. See, I guess maybe they intentionally made this map off color too, so you could. Yeah. See so it. if you go down, if you're south, uh, down towards my Hungarians or whatever they are. Yeah. If you, the hover of all those, they're all F West units. And there's an East South unit there, that mountain unit, but yeah. it's, you can't move it because it's I'm motorized sure. movement. I'm leaving them be. But oh, that's interesting. The units up here, I need to zoom this map out. This is the only thing about Vassal that I don't, uh, that does me injustice, I think. Is have to zoom it out like this. God damn. This is, I tell you what, you, you know, they put Stalin assumed that the Soviets would, or the Germans would come through the South because of the food and the oil. Um, and I guess that explains why all the armors over here. This is an amazing map. <laughs> I can't, so I keep saying that, but 
No, it is. They're very, A, they're very attractive and they're quite functional too. So, well, yeah. Kiev to Rostov, Todd, starts right here, uh, just on the left side of Kiev. Uh huh. And then these maps going this to the to the west are part of the Army Group South. Yeah, I do like how they kind of, oh, you can actually, when you zoom out, you can see the black lines separating them. And the colors are a little different, so that's cool. Seven. Which way do you want to go, buddy? So you guys just didn't decide. You decided not to mess around. You're playing the whole schmear. May as well, because yeah, uh, yeah. one of one of us is going to quit after like ten turns, probably. <laughs> I don't have a wife. <laughs> what do you say? What do you say? <laughs> what did you say? I said I don't have a wife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's true. No, no, no offense there. <laughs> no, it's all good. Miss no Sharp. wife or, or kids at home. No offense, Miss Sharp. <laughs> I pretend to run the house, but she runs the house. No, why would you even pretend? Come on, kid. Four. Yeah, if you can't see me move, I got the map zoomed way out, and I'm moving some of these motorized, mechanized units way to the east. All right. Moving towards the fight. All right. Why? As, long as, as long as you're clear that they can move. Yeah, it's just motorized tank stuff. Because they're on uh, G. Yeah. Who we got? Bruce. Bruce Runnels on here. Yo, Kev. Three. Oh shit. Hey, Bruce. Four. Bruce. <clears throat> I don't know, Bruce. I've never seen Bruce. You know, it sucks. It would have been nice to have had some freaking um, uh, fortifications to drop on this first turn. We can't make it too easy for you. Yeah, your bad dice rolling is easy enough, I guess. Oh, dang. So Sling it. He just slings and arrows. What the? <laughs> you know, I'm taking it easy on you for the first time since we're playing together for the first time. And look what I get. Nothing but wow. love, Kev. Nothing but love. Oh, I've got love for you. Oh what yeah, Bri oh so Brian, that's interesting. So if you re you resync, it it's starting to line up with them. I should do that maybe. Oh, dang, I can't move him. This is garrison. It'd be good to see him. Unit right there. Jesus Christ. He's moved. <laughs> Always up for some Eastern Front action. Yeah, I'm still on the fence of whether I want to order the other ones, the three yeah. that are up there. Yeah, I'm. Uh... We'll see. I want to see what the new rules are like. Where the hell did I just go to? Son of a bitch. Where you at? Is that why they're taking so long to get off a pre-order? Because they're still working on the rules? Um, what game? I think I, I don't know. I, I've heard that they're done. Now it's just some tweaking and stuff like that because it's been going on for like 10 years. Now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, something crazy. So they've hit a pre-order number a long time ago. Yeah. What are you talking about? This one. This. Oh, north, south, south, center, and north. Yeah, I need north and center. Kev's going to mail me his copies. He won't use them. I sold them by, man. Did you really? Yeah. And now look. Now you're playing with me on these damn things. Yeah. I know it's funny like that. Well, I, I, I wanted to play a pose to see how different it plays than playing solo. So that's. And plus, you're playing it right now, so you can remember the rules. Whereas, if I tried to get on with someone who hadn't played in five years, then it'd just be two people stumbling in the dark instead of one. Stevie, I'm with you. It is a little complex for me, too. Oh, you own Lob, Lob Tie? Oh, whatever. Yeah, Stevie, you can, play, you can play that. This is really pretty straightforward if you think about it. it the combat is straightforward. You get your odds. You can only get three DRMs on the die roll. Off you go. And then you go. All right. Let me declare some attacks. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Hey, hey now. All right. Oh, get excited. Excited. Don't okay, get everybody. Get get ready. Ready. Oh, yeah, shit. This bites wieners. I don't have any goddamn uh, oh, mirrors. What's your problem? Yeah, here's some, here's some declared well, attack markers. Well, I, got them, but remember, I, I have to have attack supply. Oh, yeah. Otherwise, you get um, you get a penalty. You get a penalty. 
Now, let's see. Now, these guys would be okay. This attack will be okay right here. So, you know we're going to do one of them right here. So, let me drop it to clear. Where's my markers? I just my moved markers. them. I moved them right towards, right oh, near the recon unit. Oh, my bad. I didn't see those. So, we're going to drop a napalm around right there. Yep. And we are whoa, whoa. Oh, I, so, hang on a second. Um, you're, we're skipping a phase, bro. So I, I get to do my reaction oh, first. No, you don't do that till I declare attacks. Uh, no, sir. You move, and then I then I react. Oh, I'm sorry. You're right. Sorry. Yep. Carry on with the bad self. Otherwise, I wouldn't know what to react to, would I? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I yeah. Stop, I can stop. Let you go ahead and react right now if you want. No, uh, go right ahead. Yeah, you're good. <laughs> I'm gonna attack right there. Yeah, no shit, Sherlock. So that's going to be now. It's initial odds is what I have to make. So six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, so that's better than three to two. Well, it doesn't matter. I got at least six steps in there. Yeah, so I'm good. And I definitely got six steps down here. I need I need one more. One. Oh, what have you down here? I got five into two. Why would you leave that poor anti-aircraft unit sitting there all by himself? I know. Let's go back up here and look at this first. Uh, no, General Patton, I got this under control. You go. Oh, Did so it? I'm sitting here punching um, <clears throat> the War of the Suns. Yeah. And I'm reached, I reached the last sheet where you have the little oddball counters. Yeah. And here is a Chuikov Soviet commander counter. I did not know that he was a, um, um, what do you call like it? Like an advisor? Yeah. yeah. I did not know that. All right. You may react, sir, and All you right. only may react to those declared attack hexes. With un units within three that are motorized. Right, and they do not, we discussed last night, they do not have to move to that hex. So you can right. run away right now. Yeah. Go back to Germany. Yep. One, two. Well, that doesn't really help very not, much. Zone of control does not count yep. the hex entered if it's the combat hex. Yeah. Everybody remember that if you're playing this game. If you react and you're within that three hex range and you can react, to move into the hex where the attack is happening, mm -hmm. you do not have to pay the zone of control cost. Now, unfortunately, I can't make it into the attack hex, I don't think. And it's only it's, mechanized units. And I think can it's, cavalry do it? Yeah. Is it's no cavalry cannot. Motorized only. Woods are plus two, right? So it's three to move into the woods for the mech. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, it's plus two for motor. Yeah, for motorized. Yeah, you know, I wish. Yeah, I get. Yeah, motorized and mech are the same in this damn game. Interesting. You think well, tanks just not the tree? Well. So uh, we just make make sure we validate. We understand that all my odds or my strength numbers or step numbers are fine for all three of those attacks initially. Yeah, I think you get one, two, two and a half. I think that's all that's eligible to move. I'm going to say that this has really not been bad, that we're at least probably going to get through at least the first turn on the opening night. Yep. All right. Let's see your attacks. Let's go. Which one do you want to do first? We're going to do all oh. the attacks are going to be 10 to 1. <laughs> we'll uh, you know what? I don't, I don't even have a hottie for those guys. Yeah. We'll start here at the top one. Um, yeah, you, you get a bunch to 1 on that guy. You've got 2. What are you sitting in there? Nothing. Yep. And I've got six, seven, eight, nine. I've got ten. 
into two. So we got five to one. Yep. Um, you've got nothing sitting there by yourself. Yep. But what do I think? What do I have? I got motorcycles. I get, I get a plus three for motorcycles. Armor what? and infantry. Oh, yes, I oh, do. You get the uh, combined arms. But combined arms. Yep. I get plus one. Yep. Actually, yep, I do. I get plus one. I guess we'll think it's it. Minus, minus one. Minus one. I mean, minus one. Sorry, yeah. And so, uh, you have you have attack supply, right? Oh no, that's right. Yeah, one. Hold on, wait a second. So that's one, plus two. two three, four, so that's a minus. That's a net plus one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, I'm good. I can kill this one right here. Oh yeah. What do you do with these things? Seven hexes. Yep. Oh, yeah. Seven hexes. Not movement points. But what do you do with these damn things? Where are you finding that? Your supply in mud turns, it's reduced to five. Yeah. And in regular turns, it's seven. Yeah, I'm just want I'm just wanting to where where is the MSU you're using? Oh, oh, I'm sorry. If you go okay, so go straight south or go south east. Like this, this guy here, the wagon. So you go okay. up one, two, three, four. Oh, I'm sorry, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You're good. Okay. Right. Great. So, awesome. So what do I yep. do? Do I just delete him? I guess. Yep. Take you put him back on the on your yeah, the chart, and I didn't do yep. that. Okay. So that's um, you're just on yeah. So we'll so five to one minus one, we said. Yeah, it's going to be minus one, correct. Right. Where is my dice? Can I roll a one? Gee, Kev. <laughs> oh, wow. my God. <laughs> it's a four R. <laughs> what? Uh, uh, <laughs> the heck? So that guy is going to die. <clears throat> That's going to be victory points, isn't it? Uh, uh, it's it's a pansy. It's a, I don't know. Probably no. It's only if you kill the entire division. Oh, all right. So get that I'm gonna put that in a lost bucket somewhere. Well, that's a, that's okay. Kind you gotta get you gotta get your licks in where you can. I understand. yeah, you're well, you're right. Yeah, there's no doubt about that. I put them in that hex right there. Ah, that's one mandatory. Oh, where's the chart? Gotta make sure I mark that shit. There's one down. All right, go south to this other one here where you move that freaking damn you. Division. Yeah. I don't, it's not going to change the odds, but it just might help me absorb a loss if I need to. Okay. Right, gotcha. That's another thing too I like about this game. You don't have to uh, do that step loss shit like you do in some games. Would you stop clicking on the damn map? Me. Somebody's doing it because it's jumping my screen. All right. Well, stop following. This is not me. I, well, I just moved a unit off the map so that I could uh, eliminate it. But go ahead. So this one's going to be a shambles of an attack right here. So. Well, good. Ten. Um, I think the woods is going to counteract any. Uh, yeah, that's a that's a one. And you don't get any. Uh, um, yeah, the woods doesn't do nothing. So. And you don't get combined arms, I don't think, because I have uh, I have uh, AT guns or whatever they are. So I got 14, and I'm going to – I can do one artillery. I don't have to have a fucking headquarters for one. So for yep, one, correct. What did I say? 14, 15, 16, 16 and you had – 10. 10, yes. 10, one, one to one. one. And nothing. So this is a soap tax, what this is. Yeah. Okay, let's roll that. Uh, let's go ahead and roll that. One. Let's roll a ten again. Where's my dice down here? Two. Gee, many Christmas. Unbelievable. One asterisk, so I'm going to lose two steps because it's mandatory or man, uh, mandated attack. And well, it's actually a th it's a three though, dude, huh? because it's a plus one for the um, woods. No, woods is nothing. Woods is nothing. Yep. Combat oh. during effect, other terrain. Oh, okay, perfect. Okay, so you lose one, I lose two. I lose wow. two. I lose two also. Yeah. Mandated yeah. attack. So wow. We're going to, why can't, oh, steps. I got to remember, it's not flip, it's steps. 
and we'll take it from this guy here, I believe. All right. Well, boo hoo. Dang, man. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah they all hurt, by the way. That's so uh, this guy, when you flipped him, he's still a seven. So you get to put, you can put a remove one, uh, a one marker back on top of him, or do they do they account for that in the counter mix? What are you talking about, Chad? Well, because of defense strength, you still have a seven defense strength. Yeah. So if you don't have the the one step marker thing on top of him, if he took another loss, you'd end up removing him from play. No, I just take another step. No, it's it's got more steps. Oh, it's got more. Okay, yeah, yeah. All right. yeah. That's all. Yeah, because this is vassal. I don't understand all that yet. Yeah, it's all it's all automated. Yeah. All right. All right, and then down yonder. What terrain are you in down here? I think you're in the hills, aren't you? Yeah, you're in the hills. Yeah. So you got a two. That's going to be a plus one, right, I think? Yeah. Yeah. Plus one DRM in the hills. And I've got uh, five, I believe. Five. All right, and I'm going to drop this single artillery, six, seven. That's not going to yeah, make what, four, no, three to one? Three to one. And you're going to get a plus one for me, right? I think you so. Want any defensive artillery? Can you defensive artillery? Yeah. Uh, uh, I actually, I'm not sure. Did I, I don't, did I use this artillery and not rotate it? I may have. So I don't think that's available. So go ahead. Really? You can't use it? Okay. All right. Well, I, I, I don't think, I, I'm pretty sure I used it in this attack uh, to cross the river. So I, I just didn't rotate it. I probably should just. Yeah, but you're on my turn now. I can use it then? Yeah, yeah, you do. All right, well, then I'll use those three, and that will. Uh, I mean, I'll, me... I've never read a rule that says you can't. Okay, that makes it five then. All right, so we're going to go one to one. All right. All right, and plus one for you. So. Yep. We're going to roll a one again. <laughs> oh, crap. What'd you get? <laughs> one. one. Let's see how this is going to be. So it's right. the same thing again. Wow. Oh. <laughs> Where's wow. Tony really needs to be watching this. Wow. <laughs> this is like payback from hell. This is like payback from hell. After me rolling nothing below a four or five for a dozen attacks, and then you come and you've rolled three attacks and rolled a one, a two, and a one. That's hilarious. Oh, man. Well, that was a fun, uh, fun war there, Germany. Good job. <laughs> way, to, way to go there, guys. <laughs> All right, so where's my box at? There? That's what I get for leaving, uh, leaving shit out. Uh, oh, mandated attacks. Well, it's like you said. I mean, you know, what my primary objective here is to, when I can, because I got to do it. I don't have any choice. Or yep. I get victory points. Yep. But the hell of a tactic here for the Soviets is delay, 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 delay. Good. Yep. Exactly. Uh, that's done. Now it's my regular movement, I think. Yep. So good. motorized moves half now, and then new infantry moves, right? Or you get, uh, yeah, I'm gonna, I yeah, think. Half movement, and cavalry's half, I think. No, cal cal yeah. full. Oh, no, Soviet ground units do not move on game turn one or two. Soviet ground units, period? No, it's a... Uh, well, I think you get your mech move, don't you? What well, ground unit that is a specific term in this game, I think. I think that means infantry. Let's just check. Otherwise, otherwise we'll have to uh, do a little bit of unwinding. Yeah, because yeah. I mean, how can I do my mandated attacks? If I yeah. 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 Let's just hang on a second here. Let's see the definitions. <laughs> X status, stacking, zones control, how to play, ground units. Well, maybe I'm reading this wrong. Let's just see. Scenar special invasion rules, scenario three, scenario five. You get no strat mode, no road movement rate in any clear hex on game turn one. Did you use road movement on the clear hex? I think you did. On a clear hex? Yeah. I didn't, not on, I did it on a road or a track. No, if you can, there's no road movement rate on a clear hex. So, for instance, and, and this is just, it doesn't matter, right? We can always 
do a turnover or dick around, it doesn't matter. But this attack you did here. Yeah, that one would be null and void. Yeah, because you uh, you to get there, you use rogue movement and ro using rogue movement through the woods is fine, but not on clear terrain according to the special invasion rules. Soviet ground units do not move game turn one and or game turn two, see Soviet setup card three front. So why don't you check your setup card Oh man! Oh, I'm gonna get that. I am gonna get that recon unit back. Rules. All that nice work I just did. All those wonderfully meticulous, perfect die rolls. So you can't even make that attack? Is that what you're saying? I, I don't believe so. I, unless you can get there some other way, I'm happy. I'm happy for that attack to stand. If you can get there without using road movement on a clear hex, I'm all down, down for it. Nope. But I don't think you can. Nope. It wouldn't. He would have never made it. Yeah, he would have. Matter of fact, he would have had to have stopped in that woods hex. All right, so so just moving to wherever, right? Just yeah, moving somewhere, right. blocking. You know, it's fine. But just you know, move those guys back. But and then I guess the set. There's I don't know where eight tank was when it started. Uh, we can look up the hex starting point. You just want to check that it can make it over here. These guys yeah. are all right here. So so like they would have been. Okay, I, this tank came from down here. The other two were right here, so they would have been. Yeah, I can't see where you're pointing from. Oh, I'm sorry. They were on the top, the hex right above Lavav. So they would have been one, two, three, four. Now, nah, see, they would have got to here. So, all right. So they're going to come back. <laughs> all right. The cavalry was fine because he was sitting right over here. They'll come back one hex. All right. So you flip him back to full. Yep. And this would have been the only one I could have pulled off over here. So you get two. So we put my, well, at the end of the turn, you're going to get two. You get, you need to add two victory points for yours. Yep. Because I couldn't do. Because you couldn't do the three to right. attack. And right. I, yeah. And I'm not going to go. Uh, All right. Six. So you need to make, just make sure you get your uh, strength points back, your steps back for the guy that you took losses for. And that would be the one underneath. Eighth tank. You took a loss. I think you took a unit off as well. I'm not sure. <laughs> that guy right there and this guy yeah. both of them did remember i took two losses. well that's a shame because they were good attacks uh but i you know glad i checked that rule oh, gee woods sorry ah. what did you do too uh, oh i took the extra one for the damn um yeah because this is the thing uh, in in game turn one right it's a surprise attack and so none of the infantry get to move this turn so it's only your motorized get to move i right. think motorized get to move half um if at all, let's just double check that. I, I'm trying to. No, it says full on the card. No, but the scenario rules are special, right? Oh yeah, for the freaking. Right. So I'm just wondering when it says ground units, surely you must be able to move your units. Otherwise, it's just I move and you don't move at all. Is that how that? That, would, just, be, I, that would be kind of jacked up, but yeah, I guess I could. Oh, I, I would that. love it to be that jacked up, brother. <laughs> 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 I'm, I'm looking for, I'm pretty, well, air units. Air units and ground units, I don't know. You tell, oh, wait, where's that little chart? There's a chart with all the unit descriptions. That will set us straight. And if that's the case, we can, um, we can, uh, you can just unclick shit. Here we go. Uh, ground non-combat units. Counter ground combat units are, oh shit, it's infantry and armor, dude. See the, um, how to read the units chart? Oh, I'm looking through the limitation stuff. So the, it's got the, there's a chart, there's a page that says how to read the units, explanation of unit values, etc. Yeah, I got it. Yeah, and non-artillery. Ground combat units. So, oh, artillery, non-artillery, HQs. I don't believe you get to move at all. Turn one. So you can unclick, you know, I guess, or we can just we can just restart next week. I'm I'm happy to do either way. So okay, where's the rule though? I mean, tell me where the rule is. Oh, okay. So scenario three dash six. It's it's the additional charts and tables. Right. Special invasion rules. 
it's the top bo top box on the left hand side. So it's wow. It's a it's a well that sucks wieners. Yeah, because and that because remember that I couldn't move my motorized units um that first turn. The, right? They only got that, but they got to move their full movement in the uh the, the whatever you call it, the motorized phase. Some Soviet ground units do not move on game turn one or game turn two. See yeah, so see, see the, so see this. Oh, so you know what it, it could be? It could be the um, it's the ones that are the ones that are marked. Yeah. So that might be okay then. Some ground units do not move. Okay. Yeah, it's the ones that are. So I think we're good. I think we're good. Yeah, those cancel yeah. those two attacks, and that's uh, yeah. Those two attacks are wrong though. Yeah. So, phew. Okay, that's better. Thank God. Yeah. Good catch. All right. Now I forgot where the hell I was. Uh, well, so so now it's your regular. It's movement. your uh, uh, infantry or well, your regular movement phase, right? Now, is there anything that I can't move on that? Uh, it doesn't seem to say. It's just the same thing, right? Just the yeah, no, no rail, no strat, no HQ. Right. That's funny how you couldn't do strategic movement on a surprise attack. Shit, you can't do it for the first three turns. Yeah. That's kind of scary. Unless there's a reason for it. Well, I think that's trying to facilitate the fact that they already snuck, you know, two million men up to the front line or something, right? So, so you've done all that, right? All right, let's move the grunts and stuff. Yeah. All right, John Longshore. See you, John. All right. So. Hey, John. So he couldn't have moved any of that stuff. He moved or what? No, no, he's good. So we we uh, I it says some, it, there's a there's a wording thing. It's fine. Everything we've done today is fine except those two attacks. Right. So, oh, both so, attacks. Yeah, yeah. And and the only thing I would just be wary of is any of the uh, any of the armor that you moved up on roads on clear. Oh shit! Yeah, talk. God damn it. Yeah. So that's I, I, if you uh, here's what I would. It's if I moved everybody back two full movement points with road movement, that would take them back down to the regular. Yeah, I think that'd be fine. Why don't you just do that? Yeah, let's do that. One, two. All right. So what are you saying about roads clear, Kev? What do you mean? Right. So the so the heck the the scenario rule has got this odd um, deal here. It says no route no road movement rate in any clear terrain hex on game turn one. So it's basically saying hmm. all the Soviets stayed off the roads. On turn one, uh, you know the equivalent of you know the first two days or whatever it is, sure. probably probably because of all the German air, right? Yeah, and that's why I have no air this turn. It's three, Kev, not two. I gotta move them back. Three. That's cool, man. You you, you move them back however far you think you should, and we'll just call it bygones. Shit happens. We get excited about playing, and we're talking and, and shooting the shit at the same time. So it's all. It's all I feel like a fucking. That's interesting. Now. Okay. So is he still going to be able to find three attacks to make then? No, he's given he's given me three VPs. Two, because this attack was two. Good. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, that one was good. Let's see. Damn it! One, two, three. That bites the wiener big time. Yeah. So yeah I, I, go ahead. Well, okay. So then he pretty much has to make some super weak attacks to get those three attacks. Then. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, you don't really have any choice as the the Germans. He was going to see yeah. here, so. but they've got to be a three to two. So that's the that's the problem, right? Uh, or six or steps. Six steps, yeah. So it really forces him to try and wherever he's adjacent, he's got to try and get decent odds if he can. But and he's got to use armor to do it, basically. Yeah. Okay. Interesting. This thing comes with a lot of scenarios just south by itself. That's interesting. Yeah. That's cool. One, two, three. One, two, three. Because he can't 
No, he came around the room. One, two, three. on top of that. He was somewhere else, so All right, these guys here, they can they would only move three, so it would have been one, two. Oh, bitch. Or did them. He would have gone he was over here, so he would have gone one, two, three, four, five, six. No, no, no. This was the big he was the big one I knew because he was one, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, I'll see you, Stigler. Six, Thanks, man, for hanging out. Just in here. Well, he wasn't using road, but he was good. So, all right. And uh, not to be not to be a stickler, but I, I like also would like to know where those guys started as well, and just make sure I'm sure they can get to where they are because they've got eight movement points. But which one? Um, this is where the declared marker is. This guy here. This guy here? Yeah, those two in guys. The city. Okay, they're good. Yeah. They're cool. Well, I'm yeah. sorry. This guy was in the city. This guy was below the city. I I had him right here. So actually, he could have gone one. He could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you're good. You got. He was fine. I should have yep. there. All right, my bad. Yes, Peter, you're right. The base rules giveth. The scenario rules taketh away. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Tim already. This guy's got to go back. Can you right click to get a movement trail? Brian Jarvis. Says. Oh, you can do an ant trail, can't you? You got to turn it on first, though. So, yeah. There we go. Now, he didn't move that damn far. So, yes, you can, but you have to turn it on. Oh, well, he did. And so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right? That would have been good, right? Because that's where he started from. Yeah, you, you're good. I'm, I'm trusting you to do it right because I really can't see. Yeah, but, that's so, something, man. I wish I would have. No, it's okay. It doesn't matter, man. It's it's. Uh, There's a lot of rules in this. I mean, yeah, stuff happens like this all the time. I. It wouldn't. It wouldn't be the first time I've set up a monster game and then and then played the first turn and realized that I've done it all absolutely cock up. Yeah, and I'm not. I'm not gonna freak out about them. Um, um, the special scenario rules. If it yep. was a standard rule in the game, that would piss me off to no end. Yeah. Hey, well, look, we got we got a full turn done, uh, so we're 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 doing okay. Now, now that I can see that answer, let me go back and check everybody else. Make sure I do. keep rolling like a rock star. I'm gonna get kind of pissed off though. So if he wanted to, he could have gone there. Uh, who else did you boo boo with, Jeff? Come on, fix it, buddy. So he started down here. That's right. So tell me a story, Todd. Well, so once upon a time, uh, I don't know. I got a miniature game set up. Oh, yeah. What are you doing? We're going to roll some dice with my little man. That's cool. Yeah. I've got, nothing, I've got nothing set up at the moment. Really? Yeah, I've been, uh, I've been kind of busy and kind of in a funk, so I haven't been really doing I've just been trying to get some stuff painted and get some stuff sorted out in my room. My stepmom uh, moved out of her rental house that she was living in with my dad when he passed away, so that was a nice change. That's been kind of keeping us busy helping her move and do garage sale stuff, so mentally I've not been really checked in for gaming. Yeah, here. Yeah. We've been uh, doing maintenance and repairs because we're we're getting ready to. Oh yeah. Put our house That's on the good. market. Yeah. It's kind of funny. You go fix all that stuff up you've been meaning to fix for like ten years, and then you go, hmm, this is a really cool place. Why, why are we moving? <laughs> yeah, we did that in California when we we finally fixed our kitchen after five years. It's beautiful, and we moved like a month later. You know, my, my Lisa was real happy with that. Um, uh, Brian, I'm trying to get uh, the equivalent of 20 minutes a day in. I kind of slowed down because I finished that 28 millimeter bolt action job, not job, but project I was working on. So need to kind of get myself geared back up to getting on average 20 minutes a day. But yeah. 
All right, I'm going to do my regular move. Yes, sir. Just that doesn't even make damn sense. What's that? <laughs> How it says no road movement rate in any clear terrain eggs, but if you were in the woods, you're fine. I think Kev's right because of aircraft. Air interdiction, yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Because I get no air air support this turn, right? So that is the air rule pretty much for turn one. Yep. Take this goddamn golf hat I'll put on this military hat. All right. Let me go to work here. Chef's not afraid of any stukas. He drive his tanks out there. What do I have? Oh, I need to clear my move markers. That's why. All right. Grunts, 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 grunts. What can you do with a sniper team? Motorized ship gets half, I think, doesn't it? Yep. Motorized and cab get half. HQ's full, except yours are uh, food bird. Yeah, they're like, are you thinking? They're fucking, they're going to be blue sticker for turns. Orange, green, and grays get full. All right, well, let's see. So I can get that tank unit now. <laughs> Sip Kev, I should have just left him where he was and just not moved him anymore because he's going to go right there anyhow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. One. No, he can't eat up because he's only got two and a half in the zone of control. So he's going to go into town. There we go. That movement trail's on now. Boy, in case I break something. Hmm. Let me turn that on then. Because I don't see. One, two. Uh, Brian, I like going. Well, it depends on how the map's oriented, but top to bottom. Brian Jarvis was asking, how do you approve to approach going through your move, unit movements when you have such a large map area? Side to side, top to bottom? Yeah, it's, it, for me, it's random. Just depends on where my focus is. Yeah. And, you know, I, for me, initially, the, the first biggest objective on this side of the map is this road intersection. Rail, road, everything coming through here. Yeah, I, I definitely have to focus, Brian, or I, I forget what I've done. People also use um, like tile spacers and stuff, and they'll put stuff on there to remind themselves that they've already moved them or whatever. Right. Or little uh, little uh, markers with letters on them. Mm -hmm. Well, the cool thing about Vassal is that it'll show you who's moved, so you've got that going for In fact, you should, uh, or you cleared your movement. Marcus. Oh yeah, that's that's right. Yeah, so yeah, Brian. So you've got that. So now you know who you've moved. When I'm playing a game, I usually just cock everything 90 degrees if it's moved. Mm -hmm. That's what Arwen Sachs just said. John Connor just joined us. Oh, but Jesus, I'm finally here. Had kids at karate, karate. Oh, cool. He must be on the West Coast. I guess so. Welcome, John. We're um uh. Jeff here, Hextex, is having so much fun that he wanted to play his movement face twice. So he moved, moved stuff wrong, and he's moving some stuff again. He's, he's having a great time moving. So. <laughs> we, uh, we, we realized a little rule. He said cock. Um, yeah. Notice a little rule change there. Uh, not change, a rule. Scenario rule that. Kev got kind of all worked up because he lost some units in some battles. So he, I didn't get worked up. He got, he got all rules lawyery and got, you know, he, it was, <laughs> it was, it's sad, but it's his channel. You know, it's like, whatever, man, do what you got to do. Stay, stay, stay. You can't do shit. Yep. Colored beads works too. I don't like angling just because I, but it works too. A lot of people do that. Yeah. With a big game, it can be a pain in the ass to turn it all back. But typically what I do is I'll play it, turn it all angled. And then when I, the next turn, I'll just 
straight them all. Right. Um, yeah. That could work. As long as it's not a multi, like this would be difficult to do, do that because you have units can move in both phases. So you wouldn't know which ones had or hadn't moved. Yeah. Beads or, you know, beads and markers and tiles and stuff. I'll, I'll maybe I'll mark a section of a map as done. Mm, that's good. And, I, and when I leave, and when I leave the table, I always leave a, <clears throat> a pencil or a die on top of where I was up to. And that then I, I make a note on, on the side of, Hey, this is what I was doing. Right. Cause you come yeah. back sometimes after two days you're like, well, now what, what was I thinking? Right. No, oh, yeah, for sure. That's the beautiful beauty of Plexi. Yep. You guys are staying put. Bingo chips, that could work too. So many options. Yeah. Um, it just depends how mechanical you want to be, right? How many times do you want to touch, the, like, put a chip, yeah. like, put a bingo chip down and then pick it up and then move the unit and then put a bingo chip down? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Big games are hard. I, I, I do what, uh, but Jeff's like me. I, I'll, I'll go to my problem areas and I'll try and solve for those first. Mm. In, in a game like this, you don't have to worry about logistical tales and things like that too much. So you can just kind of move your units and he doesn't have to really worry about supply. Gotcha. But, a, but a, you may be a more robust supply oriented game like OCS. He would have to think about, well, where's all my supply going to come from? How am I going to get it there? What do I want to do two or three turns from now? So before I go moving all these guys, what I, how, how do I do, how do I plan for that? And sometimes you just don't worry about it because you see an opportunity and then you you just make it happen, right? Or you would do the best to make it happen to get to get uh, the supply where you need it or whatever the case may be. Yeah, support whatever. You said orange, green, and gray were full, right? Yeah. You ain't going nowhere there, Mr. Headquarters. God damn supply trucks. Since what so I've been kind of to work with you guys are just shooting out there. They only fire once, you know. Oh, let's see. I got to get some troopy troopies down here. One, two. 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 One, uh, so I'm just building up my army list for the game. I'm the miniature game. I'm setting up here and I'm, use, I'm going to use snipers for the first time ever. And they have a million little rules for them. So. Oh, really? Which is, which is system? Uh, Blitzkrieg commander. It's one I have. A oh, lot cool. Of yeah. You love that. You love that. So, I, that hey, Kev, hey, Kev, I love it. You love it. I love it so much. Yeah. John, John says, suddenly I see the advantage of vassal. <laughs> yeah. Pete Madoff has joined us. Sorry I'm late. How goes the war? Oh, it's fantastic. Hey, uh, hey good to see you, bud. Yeah, we're we're grinding away on uh, the Soviet uh, full movement turn, uh, first turn. So we're in two hours or two and a bit hours because we got started late. Um, oh, shoot. Okay, three hours. Uh, we're almost through a full turn, which is pretty impressive. And we had a had a had a you know couple of hiccups with rules questions, so we're doing good. Yeah, I don't think yeah, you guys haven't stopped much for rules though. It's been pretty amazing. Um, so John, yep, I agree. Face to face is good, but the cool thing is, a big game like this, it's hard to find opponents for a game like this face to face. So this opens that window up. I mean, forget the COVID stuff. I'm just saying, playing a game like this is really hard to find somebody to. Yeah, All right, I'm gonna bring in this uh, wagon. And Wagon ho! Drop him there, and then yeah. flip. 
for that. What, what, uh, how are you bringing it in there? That's how the survey. They're on my. I have two of them available in my active box. And they can just appear. It yes, major town that's in supply, city stuff like that. Cool. And I'm Roger converting that. it into yep. to, to a dump. Yep. And I'm picking him back out and putting him over here. So yep. I plus I still got that one that I deleted by accident. Remember? Oh yeah. Well, he's back there. I see him on the map there. That's, that's cool. cool, Brian. Oh, that's fun, Brian. That's a cool idea to uh, use uh, use Vassal and <clears throat> and the real game. Let's bring this truck in. I mean, you bought that game. Might as well move those pieces. Yeah, you know, I'm I'm, I'm realizing I don't mind this, but still, the one thing to me that's hurting is I can't see the whole map at one time. Right. And it's hard. Yeah, it's hard. It's hard to you. You kind of get. Uh, myopic and you drill in on one section right yeah which i'm hoping will work to my advantage actually i knew those movement rules i just wanted to confuse you well that's what i mean this the soviet he's got so much little stuff scattered all the way to the right that yeah you really you really gonna need to zoom out and around and kind of like okay what do i I mean, this is a this is a very big map. I mean, this is pretty crazy. Yeah, well, you could keep in mind, right? So most we, games are not like this. We were gonna zoom all the way out, right? Sheesh, that's great. I love it. All right, it's awesome, but it stops a Kia, right? So a little bit past actually. Go. I wish I had. Um, wonder if this will mess you up. Maybe it will. This will help distract him and from here down here to Tarnopol. So. I'm going to move that truck. It go almost looks like Texas. It does look a little bit like Texas, doesn't it? It's like the mid, mid, uh, lower section there. Yeah. Oh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see if I can find. Oh, come on, Brian, that's awesome. We project the vassal module up on a 105 inch screen in Zoom chat with a remote camera. That's the way to do it, boys. Yeah. I thought I was big time with my 32 inch. I'm so excited about this monitor. So I think I think the game runs down. Oh, stop did it. I just did I just make you lose your spot? You did. Oh, I'm sorry. All right. Well then, what I was going to say, guys, is it runs roughly right uh, somewhere over here, and then down to that orange unit, and then it goes all the way down to Odessa, and this major river uh, tributary here. Okay. <clears throat> So this, so the, this Southern Army Group's objective is Odessa and uh, a couple of little towns here, and then they get VPs for sort of lunging into this central region. But there's not a lot of VPs up there. Okay. And then, and then Kiev is worth a bunch of VPs if you can get it by turn 15. And another cat. Well, this is like a three ring circus with a cat. Oh, oh, look, how did you even get in here? Yeah. One, two, three. Yeah, so it's big map. All right, anyway, let's. Uh, I have no idea where he is. But he's just, north. You're just shuffling crap around, breaking the rules. If you can understand that. Hey, whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. Victory. Yeah. You got your victory, right? Go for the W. I, I think I have done what I can. It's not much, but go west, young man. Go west. I'm just looking around. Point from the initial phase of all you know. Snipers move his commands, but maybe I should order them out of the facility. All right. So. Put that over. Soviet combat, Soviet movement, Soviet engineering phase, strong point construction. I can't mess with any of that. Cut and access rail lines, move your overrun marker, destroy Nepper bridges. Yeah, okay, we'll worry about that now. Spend RPs on over death, spend RPs, spend RPs to move units from the eliminated box. 
Now, oh, okay, I'll okay. Just let you do that with. Why do I have two Cadbury boxes? Oh, one's crummy. Um, eliminate X. Now that's for Kia. Soviet surrender. Nope. Sorry. Oh, come on. You could. Not, not going to happen yet. Adjust the step loss and victory point tracks, which you probably already did that for yours. I have not, but I will. Game uh, turn interface. Remove all activated markers. I don't have any. Soviet player performs non-operational headquarters. I don't do that. I don't have to do that yet. Axis player converts each mandated attack not yet made into victory points. All right, so let's let's let me let me just pull that shit up. Let's have a look at that action. What's that? So, um, this guy, yeah. So, VP marker. Of course, there isn't one here. Awesome. Oh, I can't see yours. So. Oh, you can't. No, oh, that's no good. Off. Oh, there we go. Um. All right. Hang on one sec. I need a VP marker. Let me find one. This will be hilarious trying to find that. I'm just going to grab this. That'll do. How many uh, did I get? Two VPs, right? Two VPs. All right. That'll do for the moment until I find the, the right marker later. Uh, and now I can't see these. There were three boxes here before. No, there's not. Um, so VP marker. And I took... Uh, I lost two steps, so I don't, I don't track, I don't track steps. You track steps. I think we both have an armored artillery loss thing. Yeah. I, well, okay. I, I'm not going to tell you that I know that for this one, but I know that in uh, the K2R, they both have one. What? You so there's okay no for step loss for victory points it's me, and yeah I yeah lost, yeah, I mean, I yeah. Was a bit, oh, yeah. no you know uh yeah. all right so what did I lose did I lose? well because we reset the one attack where I had armor both the two attacks so I didn't lose any there, and you didn't attack any of my armor because they weren't nobody near the front line yeah. So the only place was this attack down here, but that was nothing but grunts and BDR, NKVD stuff. Yep. All right, so there's no step losses for that. Yep. So I pick up two VPs, basically. Yeah. Because we the, we pulled the attacks back. Did you lose any armor in your overrun and other shit? Uh, I, it, armor doesn't count unless I lose an entire division, right. I believe. So no, hey, Tom, thanks for chopping by, man. You're welcome for the lesson on the system. See ya. Bye, Tom. Ciao, Tom. What do you think, bro? Well, I mean, I'm, okay, so we got through the first turn. One bugaboo. Some minor shit. You know, there's yep. all scenario-based rules. And when you got, of course, you know, when you're trying to look for a campaign game, and then you got to look to four other scenarios to get your rules. That's yep. that's kind of tough, but uh, hey, that's the way that goes sometimes. Yeah, yeah, that. I think this is good. A uh, horrible, horrible opening for the Germans. Like, just not good. I, I kind of liked your dice rolls. Yeah, I you, you probably did. This does not look like the explosive uh, breakout uh, blitzkrieg that Hitler was looking for. I think I may be recalled very quickly. <laughs> so much for having this big tank over my shoulder. It didn't do a whole lot. <laughs> it broke down. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I think we're going to see something. Well, okay. So, well, I don't know. It was kind of constricted. Yeah. Well, first turn because you had behind the lines units that you could not employ. Yep. You could only yep. really combat with what was up front. Um, this is going to be one of those deals where how many rocks can I throw in your creek? Yep. That must be a southern thing. But yes, I, I understand the measure. <laughs> <laughs> and fortunately for me, your creek revolves around 
one, two, three, four, five stacks of units, at least for right now, that I can see. Right. And, you know, and I guess the one good thing about this big ass map is that I do have a lot of units sitting to the back. Russia, you know, right forward. now that I'm looking at this zoomed out, it's not that far from where you're at to Kiev. Looks like it's two maps wide to get to Kiev, maybe two and just a few more hexes. Yeah, not as the crow flies, but uh, there's a lot yeah. of shit in between. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Guess yeah, well, I, I think, I, you know, so map E, I, I think you're going to have little issues with as far as supply goes on E because of the road net. Yep. But I think if you don't push rail lines, that's that's when you're going to start bitching to me, right? About rail, about the rail supply stuff. Yeah. Yeah, the honeydew list is going to get ma magically long. Oh man, I, I, whew. yeah, I can't play this week. You know, <laughs> sorry. Don't move. It. Okay, buddy. Yeah, no, it's okay. Well, where where we? One of the things here is that the game because of the dice, the, the dice are going to inflict their own pain on you. So if you can't go the direct route, you got to take the indirect route, right? So that's that's what we'll do. Yeah, this is yeah. going to be interesting. I, think. I see I see you leaving me, you leaving me a little honey, honey pots uh, along the way as well. So that's all very cute, but uh, I'm not going to fall flat out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got to find clipping points for you. That's 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 the only way to do this. I don't know what your reinforcements are that come on, but I know there's a, a couple of turn three. Yeah, this was up turn three. Yeah. Do you always have to do mandatory attacks the whole game or just a few for you? Uh I you know, I don't know. I gotta dig on that one because I, I wanted to say when I played the the von Runestead attacks one. I can say now I sit, I'm gonna sit here tomorrow sometime and go through this damn rule book again. And and I thought I did that. I mean, here put it this way. Here's my little two or three pages on my little tad here right. where I went through and found some of the weird rules and put them on this little, but obviously the, I didn't see those. So I got to go in, in K2R you roll on, on when you roll on replacements. And I think it's the same in this game here. When I roll on my replacement table, yep. it will be next turn. It tells you, it tells you um, what your, uh, like what fortifications you get. Yep. And it tells you yep. how many mandatory attacks you have to make if you should roll that number. Yep. So I guess yeah, we'll it's on the Barbarossa Army Group South scenario turn record track down the bottom, right hand side. Oh, is it on the chart? It's on the chart, yeah. It says replacement table 7.0. So there's a strong points and type one replacements, other replacements, special events. All that sort of fun stuff. All right. Oh yeah. Okay. I got it. I got it. Got it. Oh, and here's a summary of the Axis uh, rail conversion too. That's that's handy instead of having to refer to rules. Keep that on the top for next week. Now, are you? Uh, are you? I don't think next week I can play. I've got a block party I'm going to, and then it's about the week after I could. I think. Schedule whatever, man. Okay. Well, let's, uh, let's, my schedule's easy as long as you keep it off on Monday and Tuesday. I'm good. Yeah. All right. Well, let's uh, let's chat early in the week next week. But Thursday week would be good, I think. Okay, that works for me. I'll rearrange all my counters. All right. Well, let me. Uh, yeah. No, I'm going to save the game right here, my friend. <laughs> well, it'll be after I uh, I, I push uh, 16 Panzer a little bit further forward, but. Uh, I don't see no Cheer River. Oh, that was 11. Oh, one. Well, I'd love to say that was fun, but that was a beat down for the uh, dice rolling exercise. I, I, I'm just, I Tony to that turn. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to call it a Tony. What did you, what did you do tonight? I Tony. <laughs> yeah, we created a new verb. Or new edge. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's interesting to look at this map and see just that little tiny corner yeah. of activity. I'm not even thinking about that big ass mess down here. Is it am I wrong or are there units missing not deployed in the south? Looks to me like a whole freaking 
piece of map there has no units deployed. Down the bottom? Yeah. Oh, in the the yellow area, there's nothing there. That's that's where the units so this is why I was asking, because I, I think the units actually come on up here somewhere. I remember doing this last time that that this is a, a map from another game. The bottom part, this bottom part down here. That's why it, it, the units come on here somewhere, and I did not move those MSUs that I'm going to, uh, but we'll work that out next week, okay? Because I forgot, because no one gave me the answer on where the units came in. Oh, you know you did, but we didn't. We didn't talk about this uh, this southern map section here. Yeah, FS two, I think different location. I really wish that uh, is that what it says? FS two. F no, it says F West. F yeah, I really F wish that yeah. uh, Army Group South that there was a separate sort of sub module or whatever. Right. It's just the maps you need. Uh, I was going to ask you why why you guys were playing this. I assume there was a South, so there's not. There's no. There's no. Way okay. yeah. When they got they center in what Typhoon or whatever, or center in Guderian's Blitzkrieg or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I don't think there's actually. Is there a module that puts them all together? I don't know. No, there's North Center in Typhoon in one module. Yeah. yeah. South Kiev to Rostov and Crimea. Right. In this right. One. So, which I, I did kind of cool if you know yeah i did hear of a game where guys were playing both modules full campaign for six modules jesus christ i think it was in it was in teams but still well, you're definitely wow, on, yeah. on a table yeah i've set up on a group center and south together and played them really yeah. Well, how many maps is it just straight up above these? Yeah. So just two maps yeah. wide? Oh, no. It's it's center is three maps, I think. Where does it go from what the border to Minsk or to Moscow? It doesn't go to Moscow, type in. No, no. It's, it's just a Minsk. Okay. I don't know. I can't wait to get them. I hope they freaking start printing these things and getting them out here. So. Yeah. It'll be interesting. All right. Cool. Yeah. All right. We're crapping on. We'll talk to you soon, guys. Okay. Thank you, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. Man. Thanks for commentating, Todd. You were great. Yeah. Far as yeah. You know. Fun times. Later. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fellas. Let's end this broadcast.